Okay. Oh dear, Helen Dennis, how are you doing? We're okay. The only way is crazy. Media, how you mate? Happy New Year to you as well. Mr. Pete, hope you're okay. Tommy Hayes, evening, Brian. Evening to you. Uh, freedom, how are you, Freedom? The legend. Put the head up my nose there with a new thing I remember about my head, uh, trimmer. Nose, it was fucking. Itching still. <laughs> Glenn Monarch, another legend. Less Santa Claus suits tonight. Must be getting stripped down. Sorry I'm late, guys. Just um, one of them things when you just can't get them down. Very swells, you alright? Very sorry. <laughs> Christmas already. The dogs don't, don't bother them about anything, they just get up, play games, eat the food, go for walks. Don't know that they're about bills or, or anything which shows the dogs are down. <clears throat> just go get chill and, 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 and give them a kiss and you get food, don't you? You don't have to do anything. Eli, Eli's funny. The pup's huge now, and huge years, six months now. <coughs> well, I've been on bail now, a year, I think it's today or tomorrow. A full year on bail, unbelievable. They say nothing. And some people can shout and scream and do all these horrible things and say all sorts of people. Nothing happens to them. It just shows you there's one law for the police, isn't there? And there's one law for us. There's a community no. post going up on Brian's and mine in the next 10 minutes. If you all take a look Disgusting. at it, you'll see what's been going on today. I'm mm. in total shock and I never thought I, I, I honestly, I thought in my lifetime, I have never seen anything as bad as this. And I mean, we've had bad trolling, but all, this is you, 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 This is the worst trolling. We're, we're supposed to talk people who know about this, this, this. Never in their life, they're disgusted with what's going on. And it's just it's not me for six to tell it's you like, to tell you the truth it's just like pure 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 nonsense stuff just all about pure nonsense stuff um but they've tied them all the a great thing is, is, is what she's doing she's shaking as she's talking you know had her nerves um she's going out in taxis and she's jumping the taxi going a bit of shop and she's thinking the taxis i think i'm doing these things i'm doing this she's about she's got, got her bag of nerves with all this fucking shit this um, was before this tonight. This is, another, this is the worst thing ever, this one. This is absolutely <laughs> disgusting. The only person knew was you, you Mr. Mr. Tintin. I'm sorry I had to rinse him again. There's only him and his wife. So knew. no matter who tries to delete what, or it what tries to be deleted, know. there'll be a paper trail with them all yeah, now. We've got you now. We've got your bank rights, you horrible, sick, twisted, I, evil I'm just person. In process, I'm, I'm re really in shock, honestly. They've done a lot to me, these trolls, well, and they've done lots to us all, but terrible. this is not... Helps hell out with me, but I'm gonna put the post gonna up in, in about 10 minutes. I'm gonna pack in, I'm gonna give it. And the, and the certain soul, the other asswipe from Ireland, 
he's been getting the information off these two scumbags and they've been pumping him and they're giving him so much the truth and loads of lies in it. So it's great because we know where it's come from because we know from the day one. I've never known anything so sick. It's getting terrible. like serious now. I actually feel like he's stalking that one in Ireland is that, that obsessed and stalked me that much uh, for all these people. And they're giving him like information, but like it's only half six, truths, right? Isn't it? Yeah, half truths. Half truths. He's not getting it all right. And um, and the things that I want to get across, right, is right. So the people, I'll just quickly give you a rundown. Apparently, last night he was on a live, um, saying that the one of the lads that um, sexually assaulted me. Um, What's coming on his life? I just say something before you go any further. I know for a fact this person's done this to four different other people. He got shot. His mate, cousin got shot in the legs off my mate, blasted him for, for sexually assaulting his 13 year old daughter. He got done for another 13, 14 year old where he, he spiked them. And he got done for another one. Could where just he, never, he, he, got done for, he, he never got done. No, he, he still got done. Yeah, he, got, he got, still got arrested. He got charged. And he also got remanded for the two of them. He got remanded for. He was on jail. Because well, he sent people around the fire in the house was to shit himself and drop the charges. So now, we know all the all well, the places that's by the there. by, when they both of them assaulted me, I hope you know um they were referring to me as a six year old child and he had uh in videos of six year old children being severely abused and that was the reason the main reason I went to the police because I weren't bothered about myself. And for you to sit there last night and concoct to stay and say that I used to go out with him and I try, and he not and he wanted to get rid of me, so I made a story up. You don't know the facts of what happened in this case, so the proof is going up that not all these cases end up going to court, as people know. There's a story behind that. I'll do a live um, with Brian about the whole story about what happened and. Why did I receive criminal injuries, uh, the full amount for a non-penetrative sexual assault in your own home? Why did I get the top award if they'd been found not guilty at a court, like you said? And why did this said person who came to our church was not allowed to come in the church until he was escorted by people and he was not allowed to go anywhere near the children or go to the toilet by himself? The church leaders wouldn't let him go in. There you are. When... This trolling started again when the house was being attacked. The author had, had done the account, the fake one, had done the account talking to me and he did it again the other week. And I said to feed him and that's him because he's put the lips emoji and he called himself the lad's name because um, he had this lad in a, in a book. The lad didn't even know Lee Duffy. But um, how sick are the... Right. What, what, what they've done is what happens. We were at Newcastle at that time. I told you about the sales. He bent over and said he wanted to be the UM, the Paul Sykes. It was the same day. So he had that bean in his bonnet. So he ran out of there when we met him back up at the train station. We got on the train. He went, Emma, what did they actually do to you? Can you give me? Said, no, he said to her, What's your worst for you, Emma? She went, Being in a fire because I was in a fire as a kid and I nearly died. I was in a coma. She said, no, The worst one is I got sexually abused by two lads, blah, 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 blah. And he went, All right. And then about 10 minutes later, he popped his head around. Can you give us some graphic details what really happened? Do you, want, do you want me to fucking throw you out that window, you daft? Because why would you want to relive all that stuff? So like the five-year-old and six-year-old children were involved in it. Um, and when she actually phoned the police, the lady went, no one said his name. As soon as the, 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 she said his name, the lady went, it's Tommy, it's Tommy Smith, he's not his, his name. Said, and it's, Tommy Smith, it's Tommy Smith. Hey, it's Tim, it's Tim, it's Tim. It's Tim. Like, you know, like it was, like, it, it, as if it was like the Yorkshire Ripper or something. I think we've got him, we've got him, we've got him this time. I phoned him up anonymously because I couldn't get the kids' faces out of my head what they'd forced me to look at. And I knew they had both had children. At the time, I had no self-worth. I wasn't bothered about this. <coughs> I just couldn't get this kid out of my head. So I tried to anonymously tell the police what had happened. And then as soon as I said his name, they passed it straight over to the major crime incident uh, room. And they said... Um, I mean, you need to tell us what's happened. And I went, no, I'm not going to tell you. I said, I just want to leave it. And I should have clicked on that. They already had spoke to me by name, but I didn't click on because I'd done one for one. You expect it to just be loud. Yeah, um, about 10 minutes later, there was a knock at the door and there was a uh, woman and a bloke and my friend said, oh, they look a bit like um, no witnesses. George right? witnesses. So I said, it's not, it'll be the police. And um, she went to the door and I said, just get rid of them. 
And she said, oh, she's gone to the doctors. I said, we'll go to the doctors then. They didn't even ask which doctors they knew, must have known. And then they came back out half an hour later and they said, look, um, he's known to us for it. And it's is... not where he lives, though. Every single person where he lives, you have to move because the whole fucking town knows he's known for it. He's done it to multiple, multiple people over the years, just like Decker. But he's, well aware of, but he's worse up. than Decker because he's really, really been doing really bad children. Like, you know, he kids. said to me when he was keeping me hostage in my own house, he said that he works for six months and goes to Thailand for the next six months. And he said he gets um, very young children. He said, he said to me, if you be good for daddy, I, I might take you with me and get you where. Uh, oh, it's too disgusting yeah, to say anyway. But the things that were getting said, I ain't going to stay in bed all day with with daddy and, with, and stuff like that. And nobody in the right mind could make this kind of stuff And for up, them to, them right? to and his wife to come out with this and give it to Irish Bowl to give it as le leverage, you are fucking sick. And then you were having, in the head you were having a sick or on, sick in the head. On, on a live tonight to prove about me, were you? So what are you now, an enabler of... Uh, child, child, child rapists and sexual abuse in children. Well, it's not tell out me tonight. Like, I'm really sorry. I for just think, I can't anyway. believe anyone could go that low. Tell it. You know, even if it's your worst enemy, you wouldn't do it. But that's what you do, don't you, Shelley and Jamie? That's well, all I've do. done is collaborated now. Yeah, them well, all together. Well, because... not be you, because the same as that shit when he went, oh, because couples told the, the tapes about their brain, I've got it all recorded and all that. It was all made up lies again, just lies, compulsive lies. Everything he does is lies. But we weren't going to mention this... them. We weren't, but because of this, it's fucking sick. It's pure sick. He does know this lad because he's actually putting him... How it first came about him knowing that they, they'd attacked me, he, we were going somewhere and it was a long drive and my was driving and he passed me a, a Lee Duffy book to give to Shane Taylor and he said, oh, have a little look at it. It's marvellous and all that. Now he sings his own verses. So when I was looking at the table of contents and the chapters, I seen at the end there was one called This Name, name. and it was... The name of the lad, one of the lads who done who, the worst one, the one with the children and stuff. So, um, the next thing I said to him, Is that and whatever from Gisborough? And he said, Yeah, that's him. And I went, Well, how would he know Lee Duffy? Because I knew for a fact he wouldn't have known Lee, do you know what I mean? Um, because I was like that shocked. And he said, Oh, his mum met Lee once or something like that. I thought, Oh my it's word, this, this is getting worse. If you would have been too young to meet, so I said to him, Listen, I. I'm not being funny, but uh, he's, uh, he's one of the ones that uh, when I was sexually assaulted and all that. So he knew befriended that. Befriended him, he befriended him. So, he, you know, he was already in his book. No, but I said he befriended book. him even more and tried to get him and sent mm -hmm. me up and said, is Emma there? I said, well, you know, she's always next. So we just watched you to tell you. Went, oh, it doesn't matter, I'll tell you later. And she said, oh, it doesn't matter, I'll tell you later. And he went, oh, could you go down seeing such and such? You want you to do a picture of him in the gym and put a picture of you and Lee Duffy. I went, you fucking for real. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. And she started screaming. She had a mental breakdown. She left, left the house for about, she left, left me out for a week, and that's the time when she left. And she was going, we couldn't mention it because they didn't want to upset most people. And he said, well, she's left him. She left him. She didn't leave me for a week. It was because of that, because of the person who sexually abused her on the bed and he's, and, the, and the cousin, um, he was one of us to befriend. If she thought I was going to go on their side, she, she got into a taxi and went and left and went to her sister's for a week. And Tony, and then the she was there, were going, they were saying, Oh, she's left him, he's he's abusing, he's beating up, he's hitting her, and all that, all fucking lies again from you two so horrible is, fuckers. You both these are horrible, you are evil. So last to the night, bone used to. you've got your puppet, um, talking his usual yeah, garbage, yeah, sure. but you haven't given the full details, no. The, so police have, the police have got the this, full details. This but, now. Uh, if, 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 if the police have got the full details and know the full truth what happened. And he said, one day I will make sure he goes to jail, didn't he? Because he'll do it again and again and again. He can't yeah. help himself. There was an issue with a, with a C, woman in a CPS. And well, what it was, she, 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 you were in the dark, then you couldn't tell who was. Right, abusing. so. That's how they got when off. The when, it, when he told one of them to go out of the room, um, I knew he'd crawled back in and I realised he didn't have any clothes on because the light had come across my bedroom seen it. He told them to turn the light off. All of a sudden the light came across the bedroom ceiling and I knew the door being open. When I looked, there was he was crawling around the bottom of the bed with no clothes on. As he 
lifted up the bottom blankets. This one started trying to touch at the same time. So it was literally, I was just trying to grab hands, grab hands and grab hands off. I didn't know which hand at which time was whose. I just knew there was multiple. You were getting some yeah. views, weren't you? So that's how I managed to escape and run out the house eventually, right? But there was an issue with this. Um, it's marvellous, uh, Edinburgh Major Crime Unit, like it's when he, uh, I give all that video evidence. And as I say, it was known to them. It was, it was that bad. Within 20 hours, you were moved out of your house and put it in a safe house. Mm. And you had a 20 hours a day police officer looking after you outside the fucking house waiting. That's how serious it was. And that's how serious they mm. wanted to do. So, anyway, there was a CPS about four months before. This policeman, who was very high up now, um, he was head of the major crime unit at the time, he had got this lad who had apparently beaten his girlfriend up really bad and done really bad stuff. And this CPS woman had, had argued really with him smart, about smart it. And obviously it got no further action. Anyway, he, he knew she was going to get killed by him. It was really bad stuff that was going on. And he, um, she would she would just argue back and forth and say, no, there's this discrepancy, that discrepancy. So she got killed four weeks later or something like that by the same lad who should have been in jail. So... He said when my case went over and he got the thing to say she was the one, she wanted to know which hands of which perpetrator was touching me at what time. Couldn't so see. Couldn't which see. which I was in the darkness. And there was, I was a, trying hysterical to get hands off me. Tamper. I was couldn't scream because I was petrified. The reason I I didn't scream or kick up any any great deal of fuss to start with was the main one had a knife. And my dog, Monkey, was asleep in the bedroom. And I was petrified she was going to wake up and they were going to stab her. No, if I created. In the end, obviously, she, she was fighting to death and she ended up uh, running out into the street with me. I had to run out into the street. Um, I didn't dare phone the police. I was frightened and, and I just couldn't get the kids set out. I wasn't bothered about me at the time. I had no self-worth. And then um, I was just bothered about that. That did refer to me as this child and this, that, and the other. And the video they had on the phone was horrendous. And then Emma went on to win an award, a massive award, mm -hmm. Urban Hero Award, for coming up and standing and admitting what happened to her. But the police. And to be honest, they made me sick. They the made me sick. The they police. They both to do that. Um, fucking vile, both of them. Fat, bare, dirty bastard, the both of you. The police. You were vile, horrible people. I go, you're fucking rotten hell, the both of you. Well, when I got the. I. I when I got this um, criminal injuries, uh, I phoned John Dodson Fulton. I said, I think there's been a mistake. I said, because uh, we didn't get in the no further action. I said, they've sent me compensation. And he said, no. He said, what happens is if someone gets no further action, right, and there was other reasons behind it, I ended up going into a breakdown over it all and, and it would have been me stood in the court against them too. And a lot of these, you know you know yourself, if you're looking for it, a lot of them don't get to the courts. It's no, a nightmare. Only 2%. So, um, to cut long one short, that um, he said, no, he said, if we know that somebody is telling the truth 100% and it's just being down to the laxidatedness yeah. of the CPS or whatever, he said, because that's the ones who usually don't let go any further, he went, um, we can put a report into the criminal injuries and, and suggest you get compensation because it's happened to you. They don't give when, you when, it. When you get when you get an interview, you get an interview, then there's two, they have a camera on you. Psychologists They've are got watching two, you. Two uh, body Psych language experts Psych when you go into the psychologist languages yeah. now. Um, they can tell by your body movement, your hands and your twitching and everything and you mm. know, they can tell if you're lying and that's what they said. So, All the way through, you were there and you had a handkerchief, you must have turned it into hundreds of bits of pieces. We could see the fear and she was that frightened, she said, when you were saying, where did you touch? I can't, I can't say it. Kind of, and she was, was writing saying, it down. Writing it down. And, and, was saying, it. and she was trying to spell it and write it down. She couldn't even talk about it. She was that much of a trauma. Left in a fucking mess. She went out for fucking ages. And they put her straight in a safe house with armed fucking police outside the house. That's how serious it was. Because he was and, involved in all well, kinds of things. you think about it, guys? Why would the church and why would the people have a walk go all over the churches and, and do all this? Get an Evan Hero Award. Of them, if she was lying, because they've already checked with the police, so, and the police told them what really happened. So you can, so you can't get criminal injuries and compensation if you've. What what this Irish one said last night? He said, 
to I'm getting the people on to prove what she is really you. what I am, right? And apparently he was saying that uh, I was it, I was seeing this lad, another one, um, right? Who was saying I've been seeing, and he was trying to get rid of me. So I made that story up. Well, if I made a story up about six year old kids and someone talking about six year old kids like that, I'd want bloody locking up, right? So how well, then? Well, you would have got locked up, right? So how? Because the police would have sussed it out, right? So how did I get paid out criminal injuries, and why was I still under the rape and sexual violence that was so police? Arch, right? How come when I was re-triggered by the account you made up, and you know which account I'm talking about, fake offer, right? The account of Ant Walls, right? I'm not bothered. I've said it, right? At the end of the day, why, when I got re-triggered by it and the police had to come out about the house, why did the assign me of the arch worker, didn't it, Brian? Yeah, and if you think about this, let me just give you this, this will this will just put it to bed for you, you'll see. When she said, what was your fears? One was being in a fire, what did he do? Get people to put them on burn your house, I'm going to burn your house, I'm going to burn you down. But the other one was rape. He got people to put up, I'm going to rape you, I'm going to rape you, I'm going to rape Because he knew that was the two fears on the train. On the way back from Newcastle, we got off at Thornaby and he went on the middle to get off where when he was at Stokes League. So them right. two things he knew was her for years, and that's why he keeps repeating them. Rape, 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 when burn your house on rape, and which he did do, didn't we? We know he fired from the house. And can I just like give you like a little outline, but I'm Sick gonna post them as well. So and his wife, I, I am fucking vile she is. Elisa means life enhancement skills officer for Arch North East, which is a specialist. A service providing holistic support to survivors of sexual violence. I'm writing with Emma's permission to disclose that she has recently been involved in a serious ongoing police investigation as a result of a recent sexual offence. In order to in order to help to cope with this, Emma is registered with Arch where she is in receipt of our independent sexual violence uh, advisory service for ongoing support through the investigation. In addition, Emma is also receiving support from myself in relation to her emotional well-being and the wider um, practical impact of her experience. Emma suffers with a number of mental health difficulties, namely post-traumatic stress, um, disorder, anxiety and depression for which she has taken medication even at the age of 16 as a result of a recent experience which required police involvement Emma's mental health Emma's mental health it, symptoms have intensified greatly to include se severe panic attacks and feeling unable to leave her house as a result of the above I believe Emma to be unable to cope with anything um, or any appointments at this time due to her daily struggles to manage her own emotional and mental well-being. Um, she, I fully support Emma in her application um, and to discuss this further, please contact me. Right, that was one, just quickly with this. This one's a counsellor. I'm writing in support of my client's application. Uh, this one got damaged, this one. It's kind of read it, but I'll just read this last one out. Right. Dear Miss Nixon, thank you. Um, the Criminal Injuries Compensation Authority, I've looked carefully at the award information. I've decided that you were entitled to an award of 3,300. I explain how this has been calculated in the following. Um, if you wish to accept this decision, please complete and sign. Um, if you uh, do not accept this decision, important information in application in acceptance of uh, application review is awarded in the paragraph, whatever that's just the uh, pros and cons. Right, so the injury description, it was uh, sexual assault, severe level B4, um, severe, severe non-penile penetration assault, 3,300. Um, I have made this decision based solely on your application and the police evidence which was shown. So I have made this decision based on the police evidence. 
and you say it's not made, happened. You play the the claim was for a single incident of sexual assault by two offenders within your home. Um, yeah. Within yeah. your police statements, you described the nature of the incident, which included digital penetration. In view of this, I have made the above award in respect of a severe non-penile penetrative or oral genital act as the most appropriate from the Tariff of Injuries in 2012 scheme. Um, I have not included any award in respect of loss of earnings or, or special expenses or blah, 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 blah. So that was just, uh, that was based on police evidence to give me that. Yeah, that was the thing right? they were getting that it was the police. So, yeah, and so the, you're very silly. But he did come back and say, I'll come sure it might be two years, it might be ten, it might be twelve, but I'll come back in, in the future and I'll make sure I get him life off. Yeah, he'll could he, he can't, he'll he can't help again. himself, he's a bit like you no know, the decky dicky ding dong. Right. Like him well, so one thing years. I will last thing, and I'm going out the room and I'm sorry for talking a bit erratically, but I'm stressed out hell. Oh, but that. um but one thing for sure that, people, that I'm not that. ashamed of saying, right? And I'll stand up for it. Because I'm well within my rights to. I have been getting, um, I think he's obsessed. He's like uh, really weird. Gives me the creeps at one island to sit there for live after live doing what he I'm does obsessed. and talking about me like because the way he does. Because you defended him. You were right? nice to me. He I'm thought not you were, well, the reason he thought. He's a, right, just quite short. He gives me the creeps anyway. It's like stalking, right? Um, he's weird. It's not normal, is right? it? But one thing I will say, yeah, I have gone to the police with you because it's the only way to deal with an absolute lunatic like you is to well, go to the police. Them. And they fast-tracked it to Ireland, right? There, and no. now you will just put a tin out on everything because now I'll be able to fucking join you all up with a paper the trail. Uh, you, who was in his chat when it was all going on yesterday. And the, the great thing is that nobody knew about this hardly. Only you, the fake one, and his wife, and you, Shelly, that you discussed it. How can another wrong. woman laugh at another woman being sexually abused and make stories of saying she's making it up? The police were already disturbed, as you'll know, well, in the statements where they were disturbed that you'd mentioned the child had had a miscarriage years and years ago, right? They were disturbed by that. They're going to be even more disturbed when tonight I'm phoning them up to let them know that you've been in contact with. Uh, said, said a person who sexually assaulted me, and you were going to have him on, and and, 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 you, and, and you were putting a number out, a real number, and you put out tell her to answer this phone, blah blah. If you want to speak, speak to a prostitute, and put a full name out, and tell you're going to send these things in the post, you're going to do this to him, do that, get a face cut off, all that. That's all gone. And all the mafia, videos. nothing, no one beats Irish bull. Oh. He will be getting. It will be getting Trap, dealt with. Trap up. You shit yourself when he fucked you off. You shit yourself. You went. Oh, Brian. What if he? What if he gets us? He's like a homicide, homicide maniac. He might kill us all. Me and you and that other little shit bag from uh, Liverpool. Well, Why your little shit bags? We're yeah. crying, hiding in the house all together like little, like little scared mice. But one thing I will do is. Um... Imagine doing that though. Someone who's been in the all that he knew that was the truth because he got it off us that time. I said we went to do the uh, documentary. Um, three part document the BBC. I can't believe that. Uh, I can't, I'm believe, just he, really I can't believe his wife because I can understand him doing it, but I can't understand a woman doing it to a woman because they know exactly how bad it is to get something like that. It's and, like the fact that he was referring to me as a six year old as well. At no point did he ever refer to me as, an, as my age. It no. was always tell daddy how old you are and stuff like that. It was proper, proper sick stuff. Have you seen so you were like, an enabler. Why don't you, while mummy's at work, why don't you? Why don't you eat daddy's mouth? Same thing that I put on the fucking. So you, I told you were a pervert, he is. So you are an enabler. He, going yeah, to well, have, he likes all that, do we? We know he likes all that I, stuff. And I've got the proof here to prove it was based on police evidence. I was awarded that for that injury, right? Um, and have you go and have you, a look. Oh, you're sick old, what's your right? story called, Emma? I'm, Emma, I'm Emma gonna story. put it and I'm putting these papers up. They can go on the paper. I'll go on the papers. It isn't on that one, Brian. No, I wonder what you're talking about. The yeah, awards, but, you get it. No, I'll get it out. Steve's got it, and he only sits on top of his No. Um, no, I don't. It's not me. I don't me this. Don't want them. Yeah. Probably start uh, contacting the. Well, sick old, aren't I? I've never known anything like this in my life. Like, looking for my flat in my car a few weeks ago, right? And having a lad on there from Gisborough saying, and I said, I wonder if he's uh, around that. 
person, didn't I, Brian? Because he said, he said, and no, said, oh, I've I'll help find where that I, is. I've got someone to find her. And he come on, good, I can find her. I only had it because Brad was down the road from Red Cat. Mm. Just like stalking. Yeah, honestly, I do. do you're like, believe he's that you're like Ted Bundy. That's what it reminds me of. You're a complete psychopath, Ted Bundy. People are saying he's like a jilted schoolboy who, who, who was wanted to go to the prom with a girl. And, and she, he's knocked him back. Knocked him back, yeah. yeah. And all, all his mates are laughing at him. He's been throwing cakes at him. Yeah, it's like sometimes... Like, I tell you what's right. Do you remember, what remember, we get remember Kerry? When they all throw things at him, all that's like that. He's like Kerry. That's what he's like. Mm. Kerry and the horror film. Yeah, like, it's like... Uh, like like nothing jilted. like it. 29 year old, you need to get a life instead of being right, obsessed nine, with my life. 28, I think he is. It's an absolute bloody nightmare, isn't it? But I just I don't know what ever next. But this is like six, when he was a crank. This is like sick stuff now. Like, oh, it's just perverted. It's what, something really? like where you'd see in a horror film thing, get out the house, get out the house. Like, we'll stay in the internet, people would go, get out the house, you want to watch it in a horror film. Well, well Helen, we were talking last night, and I said to you that, and you were saying it was sick, right? But this, horror... if you just said this was going to happen last night, I would have probably went nowhere. And then I had to ask the person a couple of times, what? He was, had a live schedule, but he's apparently started taking stuff down now. Yeah. But I uh, can't wait Still to wait upload what I've got to the police and let them see Still. how far you're going to try and contact uh, sexual people that sexually assaulted me to cause me fear, alarm and distress. And also put my phone number up with my picture saying call this for free prostitute, right? So you are just putting more nails in your coffin. But what you need to do is make sure the people who are paying you are buying you a few coffees. Yeah. Make sure they give you the full story because yeah, you're, you're enabling a child, uh, child, abuses, child, uh, child sexual, whatever. Child yeah. Child, child sexual predators. Yeah. So you're enabling them while doing what you're doing. Sickle. Terrible that. Anyway, we, went, sorry, we, went, we, we were prepared just to scratch it clean and forget about it. Sorry for bringing it up. I fucked you. No, well, it doesn't matter. No, you. You uh, it's People not telling me, honestly. I'm really shocked. All, all the women on here and that, oh, no, all the ladies that are on here, all that, all, all better. What about like now? I'm like a, a bit else. like catatonic cat sort of thing. It's like. Yeah. She's stuttering and everything. She's talking and everything. It's terrible. Taxis and all sorts. She's saying, "Is he all right?" I was trying to get a taxi. Shit herself getting in the back of the taxi for the man, thinking, "Is that that girl who's a prostitute? Is that that girl who's this or that?" That's what's well, going around. It's like, red. It's like they're, um, they're driving her insane. That's what they want. They're driving her insane. That's what they're after. I was stood and you went for a taxi to get back here. Put this way, and I was stood. Put like, it this way: there's no one getting in this fucking door past me. Or the dogs are bobbing, I'm telling you. And I was I'll kill the fucking lot of the Oh, that's another lie. Every single one of them, I can get me saying, fucking done. This is book. another lie I've heard he was saying, Scum and he stopped himself in it. Shit bag. The trolling group that were doing the terrible stuff with the uh, leaking and, and stuff when they were going to blow me head off and poison dog and right, all that time. Rape the dog, right? and kill the dog. And all his this legs crazy off. stuff, right? He made another fatal mistake. He said, um, she, she, she must love getting trolled. She's been in that group for over a year. Anyone else would have got out of it. Um, she's adding people like Maria and stuff. Hold on a minute. No, that group first came about. It added Brian's account, and it was saying what was going to happen before it happened. Right? Uh, when did also, get when did we blocked bombs? that, and then they re-added us under a different name. Right? And then they've re-added us again. Right? And somebody said to him, um, what do you mean? And he said, Oh, because I'm talking to one of the people that's in the group, right? Um, I'm talking to him in the back place. Now, the only person he could be talking to is Vicky. the person who I know is behind the Gary Smasher account, because Gary Smasher is the only one that's been in all three groups. So come on. Yeah, but You're just great. dropping yourself further and further into it. And you know what'll happen what stitches do? Tintin, they'll grass him up. Share the old grass him up. And he'll grass pull up, they'll all be doing deals with each other. And this They're is all, all grass. because you look like fools because Brian has a big charge, Yes, and a beat the charges. There's no charges to the tax man. All I said is if anybody comes to my fucking house to help my wife or my dog or my brother or me, I will fight fire with fire. Even if I have to kill him on the fucking door. If said if you come. I didn't say I was coming to your house to do it. Now how come people like how, how come by his bulk and threaten to cut my wife's face off the standing night, get her killed, put put her in the ground with daisies. Um, get somebody to smash a skull into the brick and kill her. Get somebody to go at the house and um, firebomb the house. He's been putting pictures up at the house. 
put that for laughing jokes on where she's petrified and the house is on fire as if to say he's going to do it again. Um, and the fake one sat with him, giving them all the information off the interviews I did when I was doing the book with him. So he's using that. No, I try, yeah, exactly. That's what's going to paper trail like Rob Brenton and Shirley with the uh, fifteen thousand pound with the uh, fraud just when they got off with for the door, the middle of the door. Oh, that was all fucking traceable. See what's going to happen with these? Right now, the police, um, They're investigating everything now. Yeah. I'm just going to bring your group into it again. That was telling us what was going to happen. So either way, he's getting invested. And we know the addresses of the young kids uh, who actually firebombed the house now. We know exactly where they live, their addresses, what they were paid, when they were paid, what time, what night, everything, the whole lot. Got the whole fucking lot now. Yes, you thought we were sat here like two mugs. We've been gathering everything. Emma's been like a fucking genius on everything, finding all sorts out, finding who linked to him and who's into him. And he's linked to that when we've got lots of people on the internet, who are friends of Emma's and mine, who are working behind the, the, the uh, in the trenches non-stop because they can't stand what's happening. Can you imagine being a woman? Oh, yeah, I can't imagine being a woman, but I can you imagine being a woman now because they're obviously the, the feeble and weak kind of women compared to men. So they're like, they're only women, aren't they? So at the end of the day, but can you imagine threatening to rape someone? I could never imagine threatening to rape them in my life. And this dirty bastard, that's all he does to every single person, Terry Dicko, I'm going to rape you. I'm going to bum your dog. I'm going to bum Dale Brendan Hag. I'm going to rape your dad. I'm going to rape your kids. I'm going to burn your house down. It's the same MO that's been going for four years. Now he's got the Irish Bull doing it. It's the same MO. His wife's got fucking cuckoo in the head from uh, Harrogate she's from. Big fat fuck. Big fat fuck from Harrogate. That's where she's from. Big balloon. Pure, pure cowards. Pure, I'm not saying now. I'm just saying that's where they're from, though. From that way. Pure cowards. And she sat there. When they had no money, me and my wife got out of bed every day at six in the morning and run around selling books because they were five hundred pounds behind with the mortgage. Could you just please sell it because the water stones have cancelled the order when we can't sell the books and we're five hundred pounds behind, we're gonna lose the house. Me and we're getting up at six in the morning, filling books in, running all over Teesside, all over Stockton, Middlesbrough, Hartlepool, Newcastle, Sunderland, all over the place, all the way up, up the sticks of Broughton, Lingdale, Broughton, all them places. And drop books off and give them the money to stop losing the fucking house. And they still lost the house because he blew all in that shit on the Mr. Brown. Absolute fucking scumbag. Running about like lunatics. Getting up at six in the morning, getting home at fucking 12 o'clock at night. I, I, I shouldn't have told you about all this. I've been to you for all the people who get something so good. No, it's not to do with that. I know, but just. Don't. That to do with that. There's loads of people on need to know, and that's what I'm telling them. I know. Right, go away now. You can go into your stuff. I'll do my stuff. <coughs> oh dear, Helen. Um, love to you as well. I'll tell you guys about this, but fuck it up. Glenn Monith, Glenn, I can't believe it. Doing that to a woman, like, and it, the three of them are sat there going, Oh, well, well he's, a, he's, a, he's a photo. Send it a message to her. And the great thing is, the cops were even the scene it. They've seen it. The video, they've downloaded the video where there's a, a man with his head, a woman with her head blown off, a blonde girl. This is Emma Cockrell, but she's going to get Lee King, who got shot years ago. Uh, it was the one who threw the knife down for Lee who oh, Lee Duffy got stabbed with. And he's going to get his, she's, she's going to get red blue off, but we might rape her fest, bum her, or we might bum the dogs. So we, and we're putting poles up. And they were down London doing it from London, and it was coming from London. And it was that fucking little rat, rat when he was down there. Uh, Sean Atwood's, that's where he was at. You sure that was, but I bet Sean Atwood didn't know. Doing that to fucking people. And down there, London, getting people to back him up. I'm coming on saying things about a corner, slagging a prostitute, and this, that, and the other. I've known there for 32 years. All their family are that are brilliant. They're multi millionaires, most of the brothers. Prove the brothers are multi millionaires. They've got all sorts of things, clubs and pubs, and all sorts all over to all over in houses. Um, a lot of the other cousins work on ships and the, the dancers, entertainers, singers. Their family are really, really fucking, really, really well, well to do. Not like me from council states. They're all from posh. Emmy used to go to a fucking private school when she was a kid. She's paid to go to private school. Um, really intelligent, really clever. The whole family are really smart as carrots. And then they put pictures of Emma's sister up, um, pretending I'm up an affair with her. Then he's saying, oh, we're getting uh, um, Apollo's coming on. And Emma's ran away. Well, that was the week when she was at London. I'm sorry, at, at um, Red Car, when they said, 
all this stuff about him. She ran out the house. She ran out. She sneaked downstairs and got out the house. Got a runner. And he was, oh, it's official. Apollo, it's official. He said, G get out there. Get out there. She's left him. She's left him. She didn't leave yet. She went and stayed at her sister's for a week. Eight days she stayed for at her sister's. And she come back. Um, and she was a mess. And it all came out. What had happened? They were sending messages to her saying, they come to the house to rape her. And they're going to rape her. When I was in hospital in a wheelchair, they were saying, they're going to rape her. So I signed myself out of fucking hospital to come home to be with her. Because the people, when they come to see me in the visits, went, that's not nasty what they're saying about Emma. They're going to come to the house and they're going to come in the back door and rape her. And they were doing it when I was in jail. When I, when I was in, probably when I was in, uh, when I was in fucking cells. All them cops come for me, arrested me for saying, if you come to my house, but that bullshit, I'll cut your face off, I'll get somebody to cut your nose off the standing knife. I'm going to get somebody to put a bullet between your eyes. That's sex to kill. Nothing happens to them. What the fuck's going on? Threat to firebomb the house. Threat to fucking send people to get her from Gisborne to Redcar. And then the one from Red Gisborne is contacted on the live. Oh, I'm just in Redcar now. I, I, I can find out where she lives. I'll find where her flat is. Petrified to go to fucking go and see a sister or a brother or a, a relation or aunties or nieces. Can't, can't go anywhere without looking over the over, over, over red. Petrified. Having to go with Bobby in the car with her everywhere. Or go with me. Or go with the sister. Or go with one of the relations. Can't go to the house on her own because I've got her that scared. It's fucking disgusting doing that to a woman. Absolutely. It's disgusting doing it to anyone but to a woman who's been sexually abused and, and really badly, really badly abused. Because she couldn't work out who was touching down below, and because it was dark in the room, they couldn't, they couldn't think it. So they said, Oh, well, the case has been no further action because you can't say it's him or him. But there was both of them for me. And even the cop said, Both of them should have been fucking both arrested and charged and went to fucking jail for it. But this smart fucking cunt she is, she got them off for the no further action because it was too dark to see which one was touching her and, and, and um, grabbing her and sexually abusing her. It went on for ages as well. And she was petrified to um, scream because she couldn't scream anyway. And she'd have a scream, the dog might start bark barking and they'll make stab the dog because they had a knife. Petrified. And this cunt befriended these scum and put them in one of his books just to call us. If this is what he does, he's in a little vulture. If you do, if you do call Bangkok, I'll do a book with you in a documentary vulture and get the fuck away from me. I'll knock you out, you little rat. Rat, fucking rat. Horrible, dirty, low I know you were bad. I knew you were evil. I knew you were twisted. But this this is why your own family won't have you in the house. This is why your mum and dad and brother and sisters won't have you nowhere near them. But you're fucking not right in the head. You are definitely not right in the head, you. I'll come on here to come and New Year and talk about training and talk about films and movies. And you've come out with all that shit. He, he was on the live last night telling them what doing the, under the fake name. We knew it was him. And we knew it was his wife. We could tell by the voice. So they're on there telling them what to do. Because they got the information off Emma on the train on the way back from Newcastle as they went to do a three part documentary with the BBC. What's your worst fears? Oh, being sexually abused. Because I got sexually abused by these two lads. And also in a fire. When I was a kid, I was in a fire for three months and he died. I was in a coma. And she told him, she uses the leverage. He did it with Simon Ambler. Because I'm so big as it's Simon Ambler. Simon Ambler, what's your worst, what's your worst fears? He said, oh, when I was a kid, he said, I got they got sexually abused off the um the people that looked after them in their care home. So he was calling him, he was going, he befriended that Sam got bought him a little cross like that. He said he didn't see me. He said when I said goodbye to him, he was going, he was getting in a taxi. There was a dustbin I seen him. He said he leaned out and he dropped the cross in the dustbin. About to manage it as Jesus Ben you and Jamie. So he's round the fucking twist he is. He needs to put him down him at the other place. They need to put him away for fucking life. Because he's going to kill someone in that country. He's going to really kill someone or her. Or somebody's going to kill themselves because of that. Because if they don't to wear, they'll be the last thing they ever do. I'm warning them. I knew you fucking freak, Irish bull. Why don't you fight me? I'm an old fucking man. One hand, I'll fight you any way you want. You fucking freak, you are. You're a freak. You fell in love with Emma. She was being nice to you like a mum. Because she felt sorry for you. Or like a big sister. And you thought you could, oh, I'm, I'm with, oh, I'm going to get her. No, you really thought you were going to get going. I'm going to go out with you, fucking freak. She helped you. Like she helps loads of other people. I like help people. Didn't you say you're going to fucking go out with them? It's because you're helping someone, helping you with the channel. You said, can you help us with the channel? I'm struggling. He said, I can't get monetized. So I'm sure they want to monetize it. I was going on every, about three or four times a week. I was going on for two or three hours. He was calling them all sorts, the other, the so called enemy. 
he knew what they were, called them everything, but because I stopped doing their lives with him, so I thought, he's getting me fucking nerve. I said, I'm not being funny, I'm a lovely bitch, and I thought, but you've got this one wrong, he's a fucking crank. I told him, no, he's, he got your back all the time. I said, no, it's all fake, it's all bullshit. It's his name, bullshit. I said, every single person the bacon, every single person, I swear to my daughter, I swear to my daughter, right, every single time, I swear to my daughter, right, about a thousand times he's fucking done it, I've made him say and then he'll come up with something else. It's totally different. Wait a minute, you said something different yesterday. Now it's a different version. He's just a compulsive liar. All he does it for is views and to see how many people he can get on. But she has the right to go to the police. She has the 100% rights. Anyone sexually abused in anywhere, any of you out there, no matter if you got sexually abused 10 years ago, 20 years ago, 30 years ago, go to the police. Go and get a fucking get, get help. Don't sit suffering in silence. If you get a, if something, somebody's sexually abused you, and I'm going to fuck up. who are you? I'll, I'll take him myself if I have to. Emma would help you. We would never talk. She's taken them. Well, they've been abused and she's helped them. But she knows how bad it is. Stay to people, so she took them. But for some man or anyone, a woman, come forward and putting things up about a woman being pretending she was sexually abused. Pretending. How can you pretend you're sexually abused when the fucking police knew when she was in the other room with the, the video there? And there was two psychologists there, no psychologists where they look at you. And said, We know you're telling the truth. You can't even speak the words, what they're doing. You she was going, Can I write it down where they touch me? And she was like, Writing it down on the pieces of paper. Can I only ever see this? He said, I know you're not lying. So, do you only ever see this type of thing? I, I said to her, Is when children uh, are, are like, you know, like, because my her mom was dead strict, my mom was dead strict. If they say, like, you, you looked at page three girl, and you get that paper in the bin, you throw it in the bin. She was like, Their mom and dad were like, Well, that dad, my mom was like that. So, she wouldn't dare say her words. So she was writing it down on me and said, I just knew you were shaking. He said, I knew about your, your demise. When we asked certain words, you could see the fear and the anguish in your eyes and the fear and you're shaking. He said, we knew as soon as you had said that name, it went from saying his name, they went, they shouted the cop's name, John, John, it's him, it's him, it's him, it's, it's about him. And said his name, I would say, Tommy Smith. Tommy Smith, Tommy Smith, he ran straight in, got the phone. And then it went off. We then we took the phone off, but... When you put 141 on, the police can find your number. I, I phoned up before 141 and I did it on the on the motorway because there was a, a bull, a big bull that escaped out the farmer's field. I thought, fuck, I'm going to have to phone the police. I said, I just put 141. I went, hey, Brian, can I help you? I thought, fucking up because they had my number because of the security, you see. So you, it did. That 141 doesn't go, when it goes to places, they can bypass that and get your number. So within about 10, 15 minutes, I'd phone them. They're out of fucking house. We're at our house, a, a flat, and uh, we uh, went in, and the, and the maid go with us. Said, "You're not staying here. You go within 24 hours. There's a panic button in the house, and they put it, they put around the response outside the house. That's how de dangerous the deed is." And he said, "I know. He's done this multiple times to multiple children from Gisborough mainly, and got away with it. And you know, you look look at Dicky Dicky Ding Dong. Look at it. How many times he done it? With well, this fucker, my maid." Oh, no, my mate, he did it to my mate's um, my mate's daughter, he was 13, and he, he I don't know exactly what he'd done exactly to her, but I know what he's done, the lad became the, the travels these lads. They live in like a, 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 an, a, an area where it's all um, dogs and all that kind of thing. So when they come off the pub, he really went over and blast the cunt's leg off. My mate lives up there, was a top fighter. He said, Oh, you only got shot in the leg, and they called, they called, they called him. King of the kids because he was always sitting with like 20, about 20, 20 odd stone. Oh, no, he's he's a hand. About 22 stone, big fucker. And he got, went by the pub when I was in it. Me and Bobby were in the pub. My mate died. Bobby, you know, can you pull this star to? Just shut it. The bro. Oh, he's Bobby, can you help me, please? He likes to start getting in. He's got a court and that's it. Dogs out. With it. I'm just really concerned. I, I've put that stuff up, uh, some of it, and I put the rest of it up. Uh, not as concerning me, it's like, what extent are these willing to no, go to, to try it. and destroy me? They've had me down as having 30,000 pictures. No, uh, no, satanic no, rituals. 30,000 30, pictures. That's the guy who's put me in the satanic handmaid and the devils with satanic rituals with kids. Three, one, two, five, um, I've got. Um, I don't know what what what's going to come up next. They want you to do yourself in. That's what they're trying to get you to do. Because you, you're the one, one of the only ones that's sticking up to them. Most people have got the balls to do it. And even like that woman said the other week, who's really clever, who's a high 
because you did all this uh, troll stuff. She said, I can't believe that you've done this before. You haven't broke, Emma. You haven't broke. She said, I have broke to her. She said, I have. She said, but no, um, I'm not letting them beat me no more. You can't let them beat you. you. Can't come all his way and throw the towel in. It's like people just ignore them. You can't ignore some cunt who's threatened to fucking burn your house down. And then when they do threaten to throw the fire bombs at your house, they get off with it. They go to the police, don't even go get them. And, and how can you ignore people when they're bringing your uh, uh, integrity in the fucking thing? He's saying you're doing that. So everywhere you go, they're going, oh, there's that. I'm on the face with Carl. What the guy oh, has Carl? This new shit. one now with his mark. Yeah, but the, uh, what all, else all these is people it? know in here, it's shit. Uh, but they're so making that, you think people are watching your street and everything. Uh, satanic rituals, take pictures of kids, uh, pigos. Dancing around graveyards and uh, digging children up. Me, me, me putting kids in freezers when I went to the houses, I used to put them in the freezer until the mum and dad would give me the fucking money. Fucking insanity, what they're saying. They're, they're fucking mental. Totally mental. It's been going on for over four fucking years. As it still won't stop. When Dale got rest his soul, said how bad it was. I, I was like, in six years Dale got it. Until I actually was reading through the stuff and it was all mad stuff like, is she rapist? And then making accounts up from Remember this Lisa Grayson. Remember he's pretending to be a woman? Yeah, yeah Lisa yeah. Grayson. Uh, um, shit. My oh, I have from my old books. I did Paul Debrick's book <laughs> um, and stuff like this. So Dale was on the ball and he said, um, well, you'll know so-and-so, and this is the owner of the company. And she went, uh, pardon me, are you affiliated with any other um, publishers? We're just interested in doing your book. So Dale went, okay, uh, Tinny, um, I know it's you, blah, blah, blah. So he's still trying to carry on to get Dale's number. Um, but obviously Dale was on to it and he just kept, like, I'll put it all up, um, giving the reply back as if, like, taking, taking the piss because he was that convinced. Yeah. Uh, he knew his MO, do you know what I mean, straight yeah, away. Because and obviously he wasn't that clever like Dale. So then, he, because he couldn't get through to Dale and Dale was on to him, you know what he said to him? He said, oh, will you rape me as well? Yeah. What are you going to do, like do, rape me as well? And then... Uh, Rapist cartoon, like edited stuff all over the place. Well, that's him and his wife, she's horrible there. Oh, she's insanity. Vile. She's vile. Like I said, you never would think a woman would do things that to another woman, not even not anything. But the thing is, they already know she's won the awards from the Heaven Hero Awards. You don't get up and often. The church zone gate, you got you going into churches if you were a liar when the court against one and it, it was kicked out because it was made up. They wouldn't have you in the fucking church, they wouldn't keep you in there. And when he did come to our church. He was told he could not come in the church unless he had a leader with him. See, what he was you not allowed to go to the toilet and he was never allowed to go near the children's area. That's what, they don't, all. what they don't realise is this sicko that attacked me. Now, <laughs> all, this, all the stuff I did with the church was all made public on my Facebook profile before I got with Brian. And I was always like tagged in the church name places. Now, of all the churches for him to turn up at, he turned up at the church where I did all my things at. Even I've been for a while to that church, and um, obviously Tony told us and stuff. But um, it's Tony, just insanity. Tony, so Tony, like, Tony's church, is, it, is he being stalked as well? It makes you think now, doesn't it? Like, what the hell has been going on? He was trying to get in the uh, to, to be nice because he's thinking, "Go oh, fucking else, you were Brian now." He's fucking shit scared of me because one day I was in the pub, the Black Bull, in, in that area. He went by and he was like walking like that. I think he's dead tough. I went, Will you fucking look like you're that good? And he would have looked out again and I ran out the pub. I said, Oh, then? No, no, no. Well, Brian, I just want to have a picture of you. And he gave me his cousin it was. And that's the one who got shot in the leg and the, the kneecap in the pub around the corner just from the Black Bull. Because yeah, that was another one who was only 13 years old. And then when I was with my mate, I was, was travelling and he went, It's King of the Kids. He said, Oh, he's the oldest. He's like, I don't fucking kids. He's always taking them back to the place and, and spiking them with fucking and he's, like, ripping them. And he said, oh, he said, apparently, it, I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm, I'm just getting people on that. Um, she's she's, yeah. Uh, yeah. she's done this type of stuff, too, in other words, because we was making out that I'd made it all up and all that, right? So, like, really, you must get it it's in your head because the only reason I tried to anonymously tell the police was because uh, really they had children and they'd, they'd tried to force me to look at a video of a very young child, which still disturbs me to this day, I don't even think she will have lived, right? And you haven't got a clue, right, what you're talking about. So this was the main concern of it, because at that point, I wasn't bothered about myself. I had no self-worth or anything like that. 
So um, one thing's for certain is uh, bullshit. Is I've just tagged uh, at um, child sex ab abuse enabler and other things because that's what I believe you are. So you were a complete sicko. So it makes sense now when you were making them accounts up and accusing them of being fighting Irish is so on that one. Then you accused them of being with Brian. And then I caught you where you'd made an account up and you'd put your do the back of your daughter near your legs and you said it was fighting Irish that did that. Then you changed it to Jude McDonald. Then you changed it to Brian. Then you so now I know that you're a little wrong somewhere down the line yeah. because there's only and, you that could actually and, think and, like and, that. And he said, he said that we don't can't stand that little freak fucking fake author. Mm. It wasn't him who put the video up with him with pissing on his grave. He put it in the, his own dad. Mm. He'd done it himself, the bull, and pretended it was that mm. one. Uh, and for age to get views. And even the and things... he had me fucking saying, because he said, oh, he's expect to rape my daughter, Brian, on the day. And he passed. Now he used to go mad about it. And other things he was shouting about is, um, what is it? Right. Other yeah. stuff he was shouting about. Oh, she's going to, she, she asked me to adopt a woman and child and was going to ask them to send it to someone to go after them. What is your obsession with? Feed files, ounces, and women you know, and stuff? kids and stuff you like know, that. You, know you were proper, proper uh, danger you know to women and children, and you need to be off YouTube. And believe me, I'm going to make this known everywhere that your uh, child sexual abuse enabler who was willing to have um, people that watch child sex abuse and sexually assault women while referring to them as children, right? You were willing to have that man on. You're all as sick as one another. Sorry, because I'm a bit neurotic tonight. But usually what happens is, guys, it's like Jimmy Savile. They, they blame everyone else. So they take the picture off. It's called middle deflection. Or it's called um, the, the like smoke and mirrors. So what they do is they get people off. They get people to believe what they're saying, or oh, you must hate paedophiles, but they don't really because they're one themselves. That's what they usually are. Nine times out of ten, a lot of calls grass, 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 grass when you're at school or when you're in jail now. You think it's grass, it's grass, it's grass. They're talking about themselves to get the heat off themselves. Oh, well, as well, very care. What does that say? That's for family from 2024 Edinburgh. Yeah, so why was he part, why was he uh, blocked then? Barry Carr's been it was was the message was hidden. I don't know what's going on. Let's have a look at this. Um yeah, it's really, it really, it's a in fact um I'm gonna get a dog out and I'm gonna phone the police who were in charge of this situation with him. You've got, got the thing you walked in number of, you know. The uh, crime number for over there, yeah. yeah crime for Ireland, yeah. And I'm not ashamed. I have gone to police because I, I think be he's a proper stalker, stalker of 50 year old women. What, what you've got to remember, what if he does it somebody who's not as strong as you and they end up taking their life, cut the wrist, kill themselves, or be able to fucking see or something? But this... they, these people won't stop them, but somebody, somebody, somebody's going to die, somebody's going to get killed. That's what's going to happen in this YouTube report of the police. And YouTube, get off there, it's lazy fucking asses and do something. I mean, what extent are they going to try and go to to try and uh, destroy me or or whatever? Um, I mean, all these affairs. I mean, if uh, imagine if Brian even had one like little suspect way about me and didn't know me for all the years he has. I mean, that could put you potentially putting a woman at danger to get uh, bloody killed. Do you know what I mean? It's it, with the lies. Do you know, it could be though, couldn't it? <laughs> no, I, this is what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is, it could. Yeah, I know. Say, say it was like, a, a, like say it was the other way around, it was Bull now doing this to Bull. He'd probably strangle his girlfriend and believe it. Mm -hmm. And then it's so. It's, so it's you're like, enabling someone to do it because you're psychologically. That's what the, the two tinfoil people do. I mean, his wife, they put little seeds in, tiny seeds, uh, like little, remember little oak things. Growing a little thing thingies growing a massive oak tree. So nothing you've ever said is like affected me because I know I've it's never. I know it's all been lies with the, even with the cow. Gary, Gary, you, Gary, Gary was here. Gary, you, Gary was here one night. He went the next day. We were all the, the same. Car walker thing. You know exactly 
and I know the truth on that, and to think that you've twisted it into that is sick, yeah. right? But that's another story. But anyway, you swear your kid's life away and your family's life away. I swear I'm ripping you like, so does he know that fact, fact, fact. You say I'm doctoring children, you say I'm satanic, you say we're pedos. But not once in a um, bit of evidence. Do you know what? It's like... Obsession. Nah, none of that bothered me because, well, it did bother me before, obviously, in ways, but this, what you've the done now... she's making it up. Right. It's sick. This, where you brought that name up, and I heard it tonight, and that that was supposed to have been going on live with you tonight. Can you imagine if, if I'd have seen that? Do you know what I mean? And, and I just think that you were telling my personal story where I got assaulted sexually by two men in my own home that wouldn't listen when I asked them to go, right? And you didn't know the fear that I went through. What right have you got to sit there in fucking Ireland and not even get the story straight? Right? Get off, look, get if you're going to speak it, speak it, but don't fucking sit there lying about something I went through. Getting off two people who can't stand fucking us and trying to, trying to break us for four and a half years and they're trying to do it all. Oh, you want to get rid of her? She's no good for you. She wants this and all that fucking shit. For years they've been doing to me. You know, when I was when I was um, talking to them, it was them all along. We were getting people to phone up. They tend to be, is, is Emma there? I was going out there tonight. I was sitting for a date, and it was that dirty, fat, greasy little sort of rat toad of a scumbag fake author getting his mates from Sam and Amber. God bless me. Come on, he went, It was me who did it, Brian. I'm sorry. He said, But Jamie he got me, he asked me to do it. It was a joke. Then he got us coming on. He said, uh, Hello there. It's Ember. Can I, I have a date with Ember? And all this different voices all the time. And I think it was him. It was him who got the deck of Higgy to phone and cut me throat. And nothing happens to the little fat fuck. The little fat shit house goes and hides in police houses. Makes a statement about me, about me going to his house with a knife. And why haven't I been charged for this? Why is it over? It's over a year tomorrow. It's over a year since the police have me in. It's going nowhere. I spoke to me back still the other week. They went, it's going nowhere now. But what they've done is they've buried themselves now. Because everything he's been saying, Emma's got all the daddy smashes stuff and all the other shit. If, when the cops were here, the cop said, who's this one here? Because it was on the, on the table, the phone was on the table. So he went over and he had his cam thing on here, body cam. And he recorded about 15 minutes of it, of the, the messages. He went, that's disgusting, that. He said, that could be triangulated, that. So everything you've done, you know, you it's about Shirley thinks she's clever. I never lose. Well, let's see who you are now, Shirley, because you brought yourself into the equation with the three years now. So... Want to get people's face noses cut off? Want to get people's shot in the face? And and, the, and what about all that stuff for the disability? Huh? What about all that comes out? What if that goes to the police and that all comes out? And we're going to get you beat up. What if all I'm that stuff comes I'm, out? I'm, so, I'm, um, I'm sorry again, people, but oh, I'm going through something like ridiculous, Hannah. Swearing. Quiet. I'm, honestly, I, I can't actually. Let's just go take the doctor a walk. Come back. No one believes a word they do. The, the, the mental. One of those kind of me afraid of me. No, it's totally insane. And then what about that other sick call that what they got that to coin? When you think about it, they yeah. talked about I was a uh, I'm in the devil and I had um images no. of children no. to collect them for value. But the sick thing was she went and trawled through videos of me and there was one with the church that, did, that didn't get used in the video when i won the award um so i don't even know how i got it right and i was actually saying um when my mum died and i think i was really insecure and i thought by going out with someone with a reputation nothing could hurt me so she purposely picked that bit of conversation and went this is what type of woman she is when she was playing a snippet about just the devil woman. She was saying she had to be repeating. Um, I thought that if I went out with well, a man with she a reputation, know she's to go. Um, I you thought see. that if a man that was going out with a reputation repeating that bit, you were sick up because the next sentence on that was, but he hurt me more than anyone's ever hurt me. He stabbed me three times. He broke my jaw, this, that, and the other. You're all a gang of sick, sick, sick horse that are all joined together. The weirdos. Go and grow. Want to rape people's dogs? They're telling Ted Dick all the rape and uh, Eli. Bobby's having sex with Emma at the bottom of the garden while I'm in bed asleep. What 
did uh, the, on the twist. Just in, in the Irish room uh, chat, that uh, the, the one who was in that group who we talked to, who we knew it. Oh, I bet you, I bet you Emma's long, uh, long yeah. something. Yeah. Eli, I mean, and I was sleeping with the dog. Yeah, so he was sleeping with Eli. And then I was there, uh, shabbing there, uh, Scrappy. And Bobby was bumming, Teddy was bumming, and bumming Eli. Round the fucking twist, that's, that's a sign of a mania, complete mania. A dangerous person would put your windows through and smash your house up. A dangerous person would fire bomb your house, set your house out and burn you alive. And they're doing that about it. Cleveland police are a fucking disgrace. An absolute disgrace. So as I said, if he comes to my house, I hurt my wife. Well, what man on here, what single man on here wouldn't say, somebody threatened to come to your house, you'd say, you come to that fucking house, I'll fucking kill you. I don't give a fuck who you are, you would say it. You, and that Englishman, I know I'm from Scotland, but I've lived here all my life since I was three. An Englishman owns his castle, you have the fucking fundamental right to stand up for your property, your house and your family. But what are you supposed to do is say, okay, he's already threatened the raper, he's already threatened, he's already fucking smashed the house up, he's already put the windows out, he's already fight, firebombed the house, firebombed the car, and the police don't even do nothing. But when I'm going to fucking say, if you come to my house with any violence, I will wear... I'll give you the worst violence I'll portray on your my doorstep, even if I have to kill you to stop you hurting my wife, my dog, and my brother. So I've been charged, I've been arrested for that for over a year. I've been on bail for it. Why that fucking scumbags walking the streets down London, going up to fucking rent people, you know what I'm about, the young ones, paying them money to do all disgusting things. And then the ladies of the night, he's out with them as well. And Fatty goes, I think it's quite funny. Fucking weirdo. Absolute weirdo. Pee the fucking bed. Pee in the bench, you know. I think it's funny. Everything's funny to her. Well, if it was the other way around, it was your daughter, it was your fucking son, or any of your fucking family members, you'd fucking shit yourself. But your mum's and windows go through, or your mum's fucking house getting firebombed, or your fucking daughter, or sisters, or whatever. You think fucking twice about it, and Shelly, you'd fucking shit yourself. But we're not like you. We're not fucking twisted in the end. We're not, we're not sick fucks like you. On the fucking twist. This is the man who said fucking Jack the Ripper. He solved the murder. Jack the Ripper. I'll be for fuck's sake. He's on the bend. This is the man who says Lee Duffy talks him from the grave. Paul types types on his typewriter to him. He's round the fucking twist. Completely round the fucking bend. Look at the video where he's put they were call me names. And on the video if it's on top of talk, but it's, it's even better now if you go on stage now. It's, it's even all clear, he's cleared it all up. You can hear everything he said. Well, Brian Cockles and been no school. Prove it, Brian. Then on the video, four years ago, he went, oh, three and a half years, four years ago, he went, yeah, we've been at the schools, he's got so much good energy, Brian never hurt any women and children. The next minute he's saying, he's saying now, I used to put kids in freezers, kids and babies in freezers and freeze them until the mum and dad give me money. The fucking round the twist. And if he did something like that, it would never be forgotten. Everyone would remember it. He would just make it up to boy because he's a fucking liar. He's a compulsive liar. Compulsive liar. And you're at it again last night, so we have, we have the right to respond back. You're fucking doing that. She got a fucking, she was lucky she was never fucking killed with them two with the knife. And you're saying she's making it up. Well, it's you. You're the one who makes lies up. You walk free from the courts. How can you walk free from the courts? The courts where you've known, Shelley. You were one fucking fat liar, you. Big fat liar. Big fucking pie shop. Piggy eyes. Carry on, Mason. I seen you the other day on fucking carry on eating. Carry on eating. I don't have never had no like in my life, mate. All my life, I've never seen anyone as bad as what they're saying. Things like that. Getting that Irish pull to come on and say Emma's. Here's Emma's number. I thought, giving a full number out from his fucking page with his own name on it. Free prostitute. Oh, yeah. They've been phoning the number, people. She's been not answering the phone. They're driving around the fucking bed. You can see her breaking. They're making her ill. The back of her she's shaking her sleep, waking up screaming and having terror dreams and everything. The Cleveland police are still doing that about it. They won't do fuck all. They're still doing that about it. We're trying to go down the legal route, get nowhere. Because they're not bothered. What's that? Emma's going to have to kill herself. I'll get off fucking. Somebody's going to have to burn the house down and kill me or something before you do something. He said, Hi, Hi, Stephen, you okay? I'm in. Uh, Freedom. Hi, old Jake. Helen, you okay? Helen, terrible. Helen, what's going on with her? I don't know what to do. 
I know what I mean, Ben way up and I'm saying she's all right and I'm like three and four and one can hear what she's doing upstairs. I'm gonna go down case she's fucking taking off doors or something. Fucking terrible. Since she's dancing down to Scotland. We, it's nine hours away to Scotland in Inverness. How the fuck am I getting to Inverness when I can't really fucking get get round the corner shop? Nine hours to Inverness and I'm digging up children's graves and dancing around the graves. Satanic, I'm in I'm in devil worship worship things. I'm in the fucking thingy lodge with their what do you call them fucking Freemasons. It's a fucking sanity what they're doing. But it doesn't bother me because it just rolls off your back. Why don't you have a fight? Why don't you and I both get a strain that's a red strain, right? The both of you can fight me together and I'll fight the both of you. You can come at me both of you together and I'll fight the both of you anywhere you want to meet me. I'll come to Ireland, they'll come where you want. I'll knock fuck out the two of you fucking plebs, the both of you. Two freaks, the both of you. Two Mr. Brown fucking heroin addicts. Junkies, both of them. Two junkies, calling people names. Two walking smack rats. It's calling smack people smackheads. He's a fucking smackhead. He's a smackhead. He's smack. I swear my daughter's grave. I swear my daughter's life. I swear my dad's grave. I swear my daughter's. I swear my life. All day long, that's all he does. He's fucking on the twist. He's the same, the tin man. If I don't meet you, Cockrell, at 11 a.m. Sunday morning, I'll never ever come on YouTube again. You never went to the gym Sunday morning. You never fucking came out of the house. You hid down London at Sean Atwood for two weeks. Then you went home and you played the victim. Jamie's going to hang himself. Jamie's going to hang himself. There's no, out, no way out of this one. You'll call me a spack and retard. I could have had you charged for all that. You, you've threatened me with Chelsea over a thousand times. You threatened me with Paul Bennett over 400 times. You threatened me with Mick Sorby about 400 times. You, all them that are all threats. All you need is two delicious communications. Emma's got 12,500. 12,500 and videos of you telling people what to do to us and videos of you saying Bernie's house down. Um, we've got people who've witnessed to come forward made statements that will make statements to go to court that you've got them to come to their house and burn it down. We even know where the kids live now. We've even spoke to them. One was 15 year old, one was 16 year old. One was from Billingham and one was from Middlesbrough. Got their addresses. Got the addresses, got the money, what you're paying. We've even got you, your phone, text, and their phone, and their phone, text, and your phone. We've got the full fucking lot. The full lot we've got. And still, Cleveland police won't join up. But when I say, if anybody comes to my house with violence, I'll fight violence with violence. Even if I have to fucking kill them on the doorstep. But what do you, what do, you do? Stand there and let them in. So we're like, go and rape them, man. Go and rape me, like, go and rape the fucking pup and go and, go and kill me, brother. Is that what you do? Sit here like a fucking idiot and you let them do it. Because you just can't do your fucking job. You sat there watching me every day at Cleveland Place, you fucking vermin in your ass. Watching me and see if I'll make a slip up. What? And I'm not, I already admitted I said it. I said, what would you do? It was your dog. She went, oh, well, I wouldn't be happy. The cop woman. And I said, and Emma's phone up there, serious threats and everything there. She gets PCs. He's phoned up on me. They get CID. You can tell he's bent as fuck. And he's writing books on ex-coppers who worked in the police force in Cleveland Police. And he's sat in cafes with them and in restaurants and having meals with them. He's sat on Sean Atwood to fucking have me. Can't you see the corruption? So how come the fucking a, a car six miles away from where we live is firebombed the same night as my house was firebombed and my, my garage was on that light? No police turned up. The fire brigade came. My car was full of um, explosive devices. They never took the stuff away. They left it there all that time on the other car, six six mile away. So our response went straight out, called the whole area up, got a recovery truck, put it all out the fire, the fire brigade, put it in the back of the, the, the recovery truck, sealed it all, and took it straight to weather people for the forensics. We could have caught these by the fireworks. The fireworks and the smoke bombs what they got. The smoke the smoke bombs have got the code numbers on, and you have to be over 21, I think, to buy them. Um, and you have to have an address for them. And you have to show ID for them. Same as fireworks. They never even took the fireworks out of the car. And when we give them the small bombs, about as big as that they were, one of them that one of them went off, and one of them, the man next door, put out. The other one was still alive. Well, not alive, we got hadn't been opened up because they ran out the door. They didn't run out, hobbled out the door and shouted at them. Then he ran, he ran, he ran, he ran he dropped the fucking smoke bomb. He was that frightened, he dropped the smoke bomb and got in the car. I could tell he was a little rat about fucking eight stone, jumped in the back of the car and went. So we give that to the copper on a live video. They got that smoke bomb. And when we said, well, where's the smoke bomb? You can trace them through that. The cops went, oh, we somehow lost it. Oh, yeah, sure. Lost it. But never lose anything now for tinfoil, these. 
you're going through every single permutation. They've had seven fucking three phones and four computers for over a year. You're going through all the fucking shit to try and deal me. And that scumbag is threatening women and kids all over the country. Not just those getting it, it's anyone. Poor Dale, poor Terry, poor Kev Kilty, poor Martin Joseph Turner. Every single person's getting fucking bullied off him. And as soon as they make a statement, the police out, the statements go missing. Or North Yorkshire police say, or for some strange reason, they said the Stockton police, we can't send the information from Jamie's um, information from Jamie Tinfoils in the middle of the police. So how they won't let us, the format won't let us send it to Stockton, Stockton on Tees, Stockton, Cleveland, Stockton on Tees, Cleveland. You try to insult the intelligence that the police, the biggest gang in the world, but the best computers in the world, cannot send an email to one police station or another. The police station is about eight, twelve miles away. They can't send it from North Yorkshire to Cleveland Police. Somehow it won't go through. But that's been that's been the same thing for four years now. It's been saying the same thing. But they've got all the information and all the statements that people made about him in that, in that area as well. But they won't re, they won't release them because they know it's going to fucking bury them. And when we went to Paladon, Paladon is the place where you go for people like celebrities, but I'm not saying I'm a celebrity, I'm a bit, a bit in the area, but I'm one about people from the House of Commons, like MPs and stuff, where they've been stabbed to death by stalkers, a bit like this, how you full stalking. So then you report them and then they go and investigate and take all the computers and everything. They won't do that for us, they won't do it. So Paladon did it, and they went, she said, I've done this job for four years now, she said, this is the worst stalker I've ever seen. And we went to another, we went to a barrister, we gave it to him, he's like Rumpel of the Bailey. A very good friend of my mates, who's a barrister, and he took the information. He said, "There's enough stuff here to get him ten years." He said, "This is stalking laws, this crime. And when somebody keeps doing it like, over a hundred times or more or less, could be fifty times, sixty times. This is stalking at the highest level. You could get up to sixteen years." But he said, "All you need is the computers, and they'll find everything. The cops can find everything on the computers." Now, why have they got my computer for over a year and investigated me, but they're not investigating him? Because as long as I'm under investigation, I can't get him investigated. That's what it is. That's what they're fucking sick of. And the thing is, Emma's now got these fuckers under investigation because she's now allowed to go ahead with it because they said the case against me. They know the case against me has been dropped. This is the high-ranking police. The Cleveland police are still carrying it on because they're bent as fuck. We all know they're bent. But the more they do it, the more corrupt it shows they are to people. Every person that stops me in the street or talks to me they're like a, a milkman in the street or a fucking... Average man walking his dog or something will say, disgusting what's going on with you, disgusting with Cleveland Police, and they're all saying the same about Cleveland Police. How come he can make a phone call and fucking armed response or tell you as all the fucking houses surround him and fucking armed response, M5, 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 M5 um, um, armed response vehicles down the bottom of the road um, waiting, and they're all around the house. The cops are coming to the house, sees me, sees all my stuff out of my house. And leave my brother in the house and my wife who's petrified because they said they were going to come through the back door they'll hold emma down and rape her and that's why she was people going well why would somebody walk up and down the street you'd have to be not right in the head well she wasn't right in the head at the time she's thinking of them coming together from fucking gisborough and that's what he's doing they're coming to get you from gisborough they're going to rape you and the brainwashing her fucking brain making her fucking ill she's petrified to lock herself in toilets in the house and everything fucking terrible what's going on lock herself in the fucking toilet upstairs what are you doing open the door no, they might be downstairs. I'm, I'm not going downstairs at three and four in the morning. He's fucking petrified. Then even go to the fucking corner shop. Oh, we pinched out the shop. Seriously, we pinched out the Tesco's. Fucking insane. Because I go with her, I take her, because she's definitely on her own. And she does go, she goes with Bobby. She won't go in the night. She goes, she goes out with the dogs, you know, it's not so bad. But that's why she was walking up and down the street, because she was thinking, if they come in the back door and they knock me out or something, they keep me in the house. Nobody will be able to see. She's, the cameras would have been seen, but it doesn't matter if they've seen by the cameras because they'd still be in the house with her. And that's how her brain was like at the time. She was that frightened. She's only a woman. She's not a fucking bloke. And she's just had been nearly set alight. The fire, the, the windows, we're going to put your windows through at a certain set of time. So she phoned the police and said, We've been threatened, we're going to get the windows put through at six o'clock tonight. Oh, just just forget it. Forget it. It's just, it's just, it's just trying to scare you. Boom, six o'clock, the windows go through. She phoned them and said, the windows are being put through. She said, oh, well, I'll give you a crime line. Well, wait a minute, we've just told you. 20 minutes, about an hour ago, I was going to get the windows put through. I'll give you 30 minutes, Grace. Oh, it's done now, but don't worry about you. What happened again? So the next day, two days later, we get a phone call saying, you're going to get, if you don't stop the lives, Brian's going to stop his life, come off YouTube. We're going to firebomb the house. So the next minute, 
the firebomb, the fucking the, the car, and a big massive explosion outside was was classed as a homemade device, uh, a bomb. So they covered up a fucking terrorism act. Never even sent the terrorist squad out. Never even sent anyone to take the forensics or nothing off the, the, the fireworks. And then they go again the next day. They go, if you don't shut the lights tonight, you're going to get your windows. You're going the windows are going through again at six o'clock. So she phoned them again and told them again. They went, oh, that's definitely not going to happen. They've already fired. They're not. They won't do that. The next minute, windows go through again. So then she phoned up two days later again. And says we've been told if we don't, we're going to fire bomb the house and burn the house down, kill Ryan, burn him alive. So they never did that again. So the firebomb the garage was set alight and it wasn't it, it hit the car the firebomb went into the garage and all the petal went lift up the wall and set all the we had the old um floor but like you no know, flooring put in the brand new flooring with the old one still in the garage so all that went up like a tinder box and the neighbor next door he's a prison officer the other one's a firewoman fire thingy and they had fire, fire extinguishers they were in it fire extinguishers the random of fire extinguishers, and you can see them. And he's going as if somebody would have a fire extinguisher. You can see it on the live. You can see it on the live with the fire extinguisher. And you can see the neighbors put their house, which are right over the door. Your house is on fire. Now I fell asleep on the bed with Eli, exhausted with all the carry on, like six days. So I'm staying looking at the windows that we bought them. And then uh, next minute, the fire brigade came. So the fire brigade got here in about four or five minutes. The police got here in about 12 minutes. So how the fuck the five and said, how can we get here quicker than you when you're in 150 mile an hour, top of the range, souped up X5 armed response vehicle, and we get here before you? We've got eight fire crew in the back of here and about hundreds of thousands of gallons of fucking water. How the fuck can we beat you when you we we only we are four mile away, you're five mile away? Impossible, he said. So he said, You need to look after these people. This is the third time I've had to put smoke detectors in. And fire, fire, uh, firebox on in the last four years. You aren't doing your job. He said, Do you know how serious this is? You've told this cop who was going fucking red. He stood at the bottom of the stairs. He went, You know how serious this could have been. If that, see that boiler there, that boiler's on the right side. If that firework went on the right, left hand side, sorry, on that side, so it's on the left hand side. If that went on the left hand side, that would have blown that boiler. That boiler would have went, it would have blown next door's boiler, and next door's two cars, and Brian's car in the front. This whole block could have went up, the catastrophe, fatalities could have been massive. You need to do your job, he said to him, the, the copper. And the, co the copper stood there, just looked. But the, when he was to come upstairs, he was a, he was a chief, inspe chief inspector, chief in wherever he was. And he came upstairs, he all right, Brian? I went, yes, off air, off, off air, seven. Just like I thank you to the fire brigade. They're a waste of fucking space. He went, tell me about it. He said, I'm still a little disgusting. He said to me, um, this is ridiculous. If this was anyone else, it's because of who you are, Brian. Fucking pure corruption, pure corruption. Because we, what you've got away with in the past, but everyone, you're doing good now. You're doing good in the community. You sp spoke up for us because I always think if I ever get a great people to go in and they go and save people's lives, put their own lives at risk and save them. People, they're the real heroes. We're good doing that. People like the army people who go to Afghanistan, Afghanistan, and Iraq and places every second of the day, putting their lives at risk. That, the, the, the nurses and the care workers and the people like that are helping people. They're, they're real heroes. Getting the pittance of the coppers, don't get me wrong, there's some brilliant coppers, they are some hero cop police officers, but the ones who are coming here and saying to me, 16, 17 police on my front, two at proper arm response with uh, Glock 9 millimeters, the other two had tasers, and the other two had fucking um, pepper sprays. There was six of them in my house, there was four in a van outside there. You see the other van here, there's another car at the top of the road, there's another one at the bottom of the road, and then the X5 at the bottom. And they take me down out of the house when I was in bed, virtually paralyzed. Could hardly get down the stairs. I had to walk down the stairs for about 10 minutes to get down the stairs because I could hardly walk. My right hand was paralyzed as well. I got downstairs, they went, Oh, Brian, we're not here. For, uh, we're not here for, for use. We're here to arrest you all for threats to kill the ones Jamie Boyle and, uh, and his wife. And, uh, and that, that, that was the, that was the uh, threats to kill. I was charged for that. And I'm sorry, I was arrested for that. And then I said, Look, and I go to the toilet officer. And I went to the toilet, but I've got a large, large cross there, which can prove all this. And my brother said, It's great because when they've taken you out of that house, the other cop, the PC Lindsay, they called him, he said, You know that they've what they've done for a broken protocol. I said, What do you mean? He went, It's either one to come around to the statement a few days later. What happened in the house and that? 
know, for the crime number, so that this, this is against the police, this. So anyway, he said, well, on the wall, on the computer, your down's a very vulnerable person. You're in a wheelchair, paralyzed. They should have contacted you and said, look, can you come in the police station like you did before? The other two times you've been. I said, they've been in six times now. 16 times he's made statements about me. 16 times they're all lies. I said, and this one, this is the worst one ever. I threatened the child with a knife. Well, that times and dates, what you're talking about. I was in a wheelchair, paralyzed on a live that night when uh, the so-called windows went in. Because I remember it, somebody phoned me and said, oh, they've had the windows smashed. I was Stokes leaving. And we still think it was him for this day. Self did it. To try and blame me and our last. Because what he does is when he starts getting pressure, we've been told by travellers and other people in different areas, he gets all the drug money off them. And after so long, he owes them 500 pounds or 600 pounds. He can't pay it. So he smashes his own windows and he gets he starts arguing on the front and they start arguing back with him. And then he smashes his own windows and says, oh, they're putting windows through. So he gets a move. He's had, he's had 12 moves in 14 years. 12 moves in 14 years. That says it all. So he's a little snitch going from town to town recording people on his dictaphone. Recording them, and finally said, I was calling the big brain, and I knew where the brain's mother I was saying you know, it was the stairs and all that. So he, he had that for two or three years, blagging you all lying about it. And when Paddy Conroy, even though Paddy Conroy, when you don't get off, good on Paddy Conroy, went, I think it's a load of fucking shit. He said, Well, come on with the tape recordings, come on my live. And I'll do it. So I said to Conroy on the live, I said, Listen, um, the man the show, I said, If you want me to come on your live with a lie detector, and prove that I never played that fucking house and prove to you that I never spoke about Viv Graham to him. I didn't think about Viv Graham, I never spoke about who murdered him. I spoke about him saying what he was as a fighter. He was a top fighter from Newcastle, and we were supposed to have a straight and I would never come off then. He ended up befriending me because I had a fight with the lad, and I brought the lad Joe called Gilly from um, in, the, in the Wrecking Crew, and big um, Rob Armstrong was his partner. So they contacted Rob. These people used to have scrap yards down here, they were millionaires, and they tried to get Viv to have a 10 grand fight with me to pay it. So Viv was going to bump them and say, Yeah, the money me and Viv get four each and give it up to the kids on the, the deal, out. but they never paid the money, never come across. I think they sussed it. So I was telling that story, I was telling me about the league office stuff and the other things. Never mentioned anyone shooting him, never. Anything. I said, Loads of people got the blame for the Viv Grim murder because it's like me getting shot, loads of people get the good blame for me. It's like me. I was never ever questioned over Vic Green by the police. They never ever ever questioned me. Um, but there was rumours of me. You know, people talk shit as they do. But I was never pulled in by the police and questioned after Vic Green murder. Because um, that's what I told him. I said, oh, I got pulled in by the police. And, and they questioned me to him, the tin man. But I'd given that false lead information to see if I could set a trap for him. A couple of months later, I came out, I thought, then he went on, so he couldn't prove. He couldn't. He couldn't prove that. Uh, he couldn't say sorry. He couldn't know what was said with the police because there was nothing said. So that's why I knew he's full of shit. He said, "Oh, I've got the information from mine," and he changed it to say he, he's got it on his computer. And then after all that, Conroy pulled, pulled said, Listen, "You've got a week to come on." Then he turned on and said, "Oh, his wife, come on." She went asked the question on Conroy's. Conroy went, "Listen." We know we know Brian's like blah 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 blah. Like, but I'll tell you what, I was there when Brian Cocker went to Wakefield and I seen him. I was outside in a car and Dave was Dave Gas I was with Brian. He stole these elephants off someone for 20 grand. And Brian up went into the pub on his own. Dave came after him. And he would get outside, get out fucking side, could he even scream enough so he could have hear me. He said and he offered him out twice outside and said, No, no, he waved me on like that. No, I don't want to fight you. He shit himself. He was 43 at the time. He said, Past this. When I was 43, I was still the best fighter. All that fucking shit. And when, when he was, when before that, about a year before, he was fighting in the ring in Sweden, I think it was. And he got beat. Johan Sun, I think he was called. And he got beat. But if you, to be fit enough to go in the ring, it showed he wasn't past his best because he was still fit enough because you have to test you. You know, the boxing ring to see if you're fit enough to go in the ring. So he went in the ring and he got beat. But he was boxing for heavyweight. He was, he was, a, he was, a, he was, a, he was a heavyweight boxer, 15 now stone. Uh, six foot three, but he wouldn't step outside with me. And then another time, me, Teddy Rich, and Dave Garcia went again, and we got twelve hundred pound off him. We were not off him. He, he sent us to the lad, and we taxed the twelve hundred pound off. And then the lad took us to the lad to get the money back off him, and we ended up getting six hundred pound. Maybe nineteen ninety two, I think it was ninety one. 
200 pounds is a lot of money now, isn't it? So 1994 so it's a, a lot of money. And we had a good day out that day, me and Dave. I mean, Dave had the fights. And what happened to him? And that was it. Me and Dave were finished with it. But he keeps bringing them up. What happened with this one? Well, the Lee Duffy one. Not, not the same fight me and Lee Duffy had. It's been told over and over again. He keeps changing the fucking goalposts, moving the goalposts every other week. But you never knew these characters. He never ever was in the involved with these people. And he was never in the rave scene. Pretend he was in rave clubs, I mean. He, he was in a pub. It wasn't a rave club. It was a tiny pub called the Sports Bar. And I seen him in there. I was stood, stood talking that Stewie Down, who played for England and Liverpool. Um, Ray Down is his uncle. I was in there and that tin foil come anyway. Oh, I'm the Mendy's friend. And he shook my hand and he walked off. And I had to run the back. There was trouble out the back. The load of travellers from Darlington. I went out. I went, these to fucking do it. I'll fight you all in a minute. But now you're Brian. They all stopped fighting him. Fucking come over, give me a cuddle. And Brian went to me. Because Brian thought, fucking hell, there's only you could do that. We're all tough lads from Darlington. No 20, 30 of them. And they all just stopped fighting. As soon as I come out, out the door. And they were all like, thank you, Brian. They're all dead loving with me. Great. Uh, but that daft cunt pretending he was in the ABAs three years in a row. I've got, I've got, Emma's got a text off Dale going, I'll mull you with me, job. Remember the dog where he's going, put your dog down, I'll kill you, I'm going to kill you. I'm going to come on your house with Paul Benson, man. I'm going to kill you. I'll come to your house for you in front of your kids. How was he not being arrested? How come this fucker keeps getting off because he's a fucking snitch, that's why. He's a dirty little fucking police informant. He's been doing this for years. And then videos he's put up about his family. That's not his family. His mum, his dad, and them. That's her family. He's calling you again with all bullshit. That's Shirley's daughters, the ones he threw on Christmas Day. That's her daughters and their kids at college. Now to do with him. His own family don't speak to him. So he's trying to, I, we, we've got the best father in law in the world and all that. He's a fucking pure bullshit. That's all. Going down your own mum's house. Go down your sister's house. Go down your fucking daughter's house. Go down your brother's house and let's see if you can speak to them. None of them what I'm not doing. You couldn't even fucking come to me and told me in the hospital when Tina Shaw was there, Carl Edwards, me, Little Evo, Big John Lewis, all them at the hospital see me and they let, they, let, they let them in. The COVID was on, but it was like the coming out where you could wear a mask. And they, they came that night and that's the night when I was I said, look, we need to keep you in about, about 12 weeks. And I was seeing, she was called Jordan, the lady, she was a physio, and she said, 12 weeks, I'll have you walking perfect and your hands and everything back to normal. But when I got 12, three weeks into it, that Emma was getting threatened to be raped and it would have been the house down and they'll come to the house to fucking set about her. I said, I need to get out of here. I need to sit in the matron now, however it was. It's been Patty Yates, might have been there. So she come around to me, well, you can't go home, we're not allowing it. I said, listen, I don't care what you say, what you want to do. If you don't let me go, I'll just walk out the door. Even if I have to walk out with a pair of underpants on, I'll walk out. If yeah, we can't walk in a wheelchair, I went, yeah, well, I'll go push myself the wheelchair. We can't take the wheelchair. I said, well, I'll crawl then. I'll crawl down the knees if I have to. I'm not letting my wife fucking get raped. Or, no, we'll get the police. And all that. I said, no, the police are a waste of time. They're fucking assholes. Anyway, I went, come on. And that's when he said, Cockrell is pretending to be in a wheelchair. He's pretending he's been in hospital and operation. There's nothing wrong with him. I've just seen him the other day walking down the town. What? My hands were completely paralyzed. You can see, I put a video up and you can see how bad I was. When I got out, the first operation, and then the second one, I was even worse because I was fucking gone. Because the second, the first one was in there, because the second one was in the back. So I had two major operations in 10, 10 weeks. I think it was a 10 weeks, 10 weeks. And that cunt's torturing my wife all the time, torturing me, torturing me, brother. Wanted to fight me, and when I offered him off to fight, he sold the police. Oh, he's offering me off to fight now. No, I, I, you, you challenged me, and the challenge accepted, I said, but I'm better. I'm not 100% fit, but I know you would never meet me in the street. You'd never meet me in the ring. You'd never meet me anywhere because all you do is phone police on people. You're a coward, you. You're a known coward. Hello, Dennis. Still on. Freedom still on. Love you a lot on here, you know. You'll use a lot on here. All you, especially the ladies and that on here, all need to support Emma if you scan, guys, because she's losing it a bit. Her head's fucking going with the moth. She's fucking, she's sitting like, just staring at the space. She's smoking like, fuck the fags. She's thinking that people are believing her. She's a nonsense. She's a Peter Pan. She's raping kids and touching kids up and all that. She's getting in her head because they're torturing her that much. And that Irish bull threatened to cut her nose off with a Stanley knife. Why is he not being arrested? Why is he not being fucking charged for threats to kill? I'm going to shoot you between the eyes with a gun. That's threats to kill. 
I'm, I'm on bail for fucking, well, not a month, I'm off. been on bail for six months. No, four months, I think it was. And then I've been on release to an investigation. So I, I could be on that for two or three, four, yeah. They're just taking the fucking piss. But the great thing is, the bad as the friends out, the great thing is they're going to get fucking hammered after all this. All that dual arm distress, all the fear you've had, all the threats to kill and burn your house on, they've done nothing about it because they're in serious trouble, you know, Brian. And that's why they keep holding you on a string because they want you to break and do something stupid where you get nicked. And a lot of yous have sussed it, freedom sussed it. Official topic talk, he's a great lad, that Steve, you know, he's a really good kid. And he tortured Steve as well, calling his wife, she, he's, Steve's a paedophile, Steve's a don't, Steve's this, I mean, everyone's a paedophile with that fucking bull. Every single person. Uh, anyway, it's crazy, disgusting. It is, mate. It's, it, it is, um, it's fucking heartbreaking to see my wife going the way she's going. She's always laughing at me. But I've never known since I've known her since fucking 32 years. I've never seen her bad this bad. I've never seen her so down. I've never seen her. You know, know the sh sunshine. You know the, uh, the, sorry, my eyes are going a bit now. The, um, um, the, you know that beautiful look in her eyes, the twinkle in her eyes, it's starting to go. You can see it going in her eyes. Fucking, it's killing me because they tell you what, they'd have been wiped out. If I'd have been fit, this wouldn't have happened. These scum, that dirty fat cunt wouldn't have dared say a word when I was running about and I was fit um, before all this. Wouldn't have dared say a word. And now they think because I'm bad, I can get away with it, but I fucking won't. Because they want to watch it, I don't snap because if I snap it over the end of the lot of them. I'm warning the cunts, I'm warning you, you fat cunt. You're fucking vile, you are vile. You're always bullying people like Marie Howard for the poor cancer. Mighty Joseph Turner, the OCPD. Uh, myself in a wheelchair, bullying me when I'm in a wheelchair, you fucking coward. Uh, bullying Bobby because he's got mental health issues. All the people who've got mental health issues are people who are poorly and then twisting it and saying they're doing it to him. He's off the fucking bend. We said we weren't going to mention him again, but he's fucking at it again. You just can't shut that fat fucking mouth up. Sat on the Irish Bulls. That freak. A little thing. Seeing his fucking arms. You know what them arms were made for? Typing. Because that's all they have. They're that long. How are you going to fight me? My arms are like fucking... My reach is huge. I could eat you. Right? You you kind of throw a punch. Your arms are like that. You can type. That's it. That's all your arms can do. Like a tiny... You've got arms like a Tyrannosaurus flex. And little tiny diddy legs. You like fucking... You like the way the shape of seeing like, like an egg, a little big fat fat belly and a big fat ass. A little little arm like that, tight T Rex. The tightest type the pulse sight, aren't you? The only way is me to go in rose, thank you. Yeah, just give loads of uh, loads of uh, love and that because the fucking drug drive around the fucking bend. She thinks when she's going out, people go, There's that girl who dives just on the graves, there's that girl who's abusing young kids. Hey. First, first it was 30,000, no, it's 90,000 with what images of children. Well, that's funny because the cops have got all the computers apart from this one. I've got off, I think it was off to Steve Man, I think I've got off. I think it was him. And he come round and he misses the put up for us, and this is his borrowed off the friend. Um, lovely, lovely man. And we don't need to come around here to help. I came on here tonight to talk about training, vitamins, health, training bands, and all that stuff. But it's obviously gone to this because. She's having the breakdown, you can see she's having the breakdown, it's fucking destroying her. Emma was always known in web cards, like, oh, he's having Emma, and everyone cuddles on to see her, all her family. I mean, well, Tam, we've got John, we've got Frank. She had, she had a bad life. Her mum died when she was 14 years old. 12, 13, 14, she was something like that. 13, 14, I think she was. And my niece, her mum died, which is uh, our Jade, uh, our uh, Chantel, our Jade Chantel, and um, Lee, the three, three daughters, and me and Frank, who played for Man United. Now, Uncle Frank classes his like a daughter because he always looked after her and he sees he cuddled her, Uncle Tam classes like a daughter because she's always been on the family, you see. And she never asked nobody for fuck all. She didn't go bumming off people. She's worked all the fucking life doing little jobs and that. Um, never heard a soul. I mean, never heard anyone. Tony Green, to church leader, said, Emma's the nicest girl I've ever met in my life. Everyone says the same. She's not got one evil bone in her body. She'll help anyone and go anywhere, anyone. Another girl got sick, she got abused by about five lads. And she was struggling in Thornaby. Emma went and seen her, knocked on her door and gave her the confidence and took her to the police station and got her to go and give the evidence against these people, what they've done. And they've all got done for it. And rightly fucking so. Anyone who's sexually abusing anyone, that's not grasping. That's being a human being. 
and being courteous to people, help people. And the girls, I thanked her for what she done. She said, I couldn't have done it without you, Emma. Goes out of way to help people. So somebody's out struggling somewhere, wherever. She'll go on the phone, three, four hours, talk to them, help them. Look at me, I've been bad all this time. If it wasn't for her, I wouldn't be here, because I wouldn't have got through this without her. Well, that's why God puts together, you know. I think that this, that this has come. I think this is going to be the biggest historic thing about trolling in the history of trolling and all roads lead to the tin man and his wife. She put on, she got, he got done before. He's already been done for trolling us. He's already been done and warned by the police, given the caution by the police and North, North, North Yorkshire police for his fucking stuff. He's already been done for it, torturing people. And, that, and, and Drogan, you a disgrace you. I don't know where you're coming or going. He, she, he said, he said, she said, I don't know the fuck you you're on about. You're calling me names. You got done for trolling Brian Harvey. You got kicked out of the police force. You told them you were a policeman. You weren't a policeman. And then when you went to court, when you when you lost the case, you, you sued the police. The police went to court and beat you about six times. And you were done for wasting police time. You were also done as well, Anne, for sexually abusing two police officers, allegedly. But it was that much evidence against you. You were given a full year suspended. Suspended, but you got full pay. So... You're bumming off the government while you don't know where. Can you call me a bum? I've never fucking claimed all of my life. I've never been on the door and I've worked all my life. I've never had to. I've been lucky. But you were done twice, not with one police. One was quite old. One was 40 or 50 years old. I got that wrong. I apologise to it. Then you said, I'm on drugs. No, I'm not on drugs. The only thing I'm on is I get fucking criminal tablets and I have to take these tablets here. I'm a cross skull. I thought it stopped me being sick. And I do do um lick my lips like that because of dehydrate yet and your body and that's why I am I'll be twitching when I do like that and stuff. It's because I've got all the nerves in my neck done. I've showed you the the nerves in my neck and I've showed you all the fucking stuff what's been done to me. And that's why me, me um the way my hand is at my hand, I have to keep doing that because there's no blood it's constricted through the nerve damage I've got. And I've got to maybe have another operation yet. And you're sitting there laughing at me, calling me any cockle do or whatever, you're a disgrace. And then you change from a man into a woman. That's, that's what you want to do. That's, that's fine by me. I've got no homophobia things in me whatsoever. A lot of friends who are gay lads and lesbian friends, it doesn't bother me. If somebody's, if you're a lesbian and you're great with people, you're brilliant. Brilliant. If you're a lesbian, you're a horrible bastard. Then you're a horrible bastard. But that's got nothing to do with the sexuality of someone. Whatever one people want to be, that I'm, that I'm all for it. It's up to them. If it makes you happy, great. But, um, Stop bullying people, uh, and you don't know the truth. You know, if you've seen the evidence what we've got, you know, open your eyes up and realize how fucking much, how much lies they're telling you. These the tin tins have been doing this for years and years. The prolific professional trolls they play all the little games and gather evidence, and they'll call you, and they'll call someone, and then somebody will call them back. They'll take their bit off, and then they, then they slice it, doctor it, and put another bit on. That's what he does. So when I was in the police station, I said, right, where's this stuff that I've fed you something I Oh, he said it, and then he took it off. So when they put the piece forward, she said, so said, wait a minute, where's the bit here? Like, you don't like say, I'm Brian Cockrell. I don't like you, Tommy Smith. And Tommy Smith responds back to me. But mine's gone missing, what I've sent to him. So I said, I'm answering a question to him, what he's asking me. So I said, well, that's not under, it's not under his name. It's under... Uh, Andy Jones or something. So that's therefore that inadmissible in court because that's not a real that's a bit that proves that he's trolling Brian and Emma because that's a fake account. And then this shit about when I had a knife, I have never in my life carried a knife and threatened a child or a woman or a knife. I've never been charged with anything like that. I've got nothing on me record apart from driving offences, running down the stairs, got hit on the edge of the trunk and fell it and two police officers where one got a cut hand right on the back of his hand. I broke a watch. I got done for that in about six months. And I got done for driving the fences. That's all I've got on my record. I haven't been on people's houses. I've robbed drug dealers. I've kicked the doors in them. That's totally different. I haven't got any innocent people's houses like Jamie has and burgled them and robbed them and called me young Hamilton and been chased off by Joe Liver of um, 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 Park End for selling me the, the Mr. Brown stuff and got chased out of Colby Young Hamilton by Kev, Kev, Brown, uh, Kev, Kev uh, Robinson. Rob uh, chased him off, chased him off the estates because he was selling it to fucking give it to the 15, he, was, he wasn't selling it, he was giving it to 15, 16 year old kids to drop it off. Disgusting. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. 
lights, won't we? Out. I want to ask what the plan. Yeah, out and bothers. Well, you used to kind of energy change. Eh? Huh? You used to pick what? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, thingy. Yeah. Yeah. Anything um, ever? I don't know. Can't be. Yeah. So all all this time we'd be getting this trolling just because we said no to the book. That's all it's over the book. All we said is we're not going ahead with the book. We never did nothing wrong with them. We just said, I can't wait with no more after the show. And that would not show up. So they did give me your little show one. I said, I can't wait with you when you're when you talk, laughing about children being sexually abused. I can't, can't cope with that. And it's all on their life. And I said, and you put W O W. And then it was finished because we couldn't do it. And then the other one was in the snow crawls. And you've done that again. And going on like the um, show and that was in all the other shows and not being conducting himself to the best of your ability every time you never went anywhere with spotters clean clothes on shaved in the in the bath look your hair done and everything yeah being on some beds and that and you go to the best of your ability because you respect the person when you're doing the podcast with the person you're going on so you don't turn like a tramp and be scruffy and swearing and being horrible you just don't do that so if you don't respect yourself and you don't get up in the morning and get a washing brush your teeth and don't respect yourself Obviously, you know, you can't respect anyone else, can you? Right. you can't. Do you want uh, MacDonald or Danny? No, I don't want MacDonald. Danny? Yeah, I'm not I'm MacDonald. I can't stand them. Danny? Absolutely hate them. Oh, yeah, I'll just have that. I'll do, yeah. Chicken curry, chicken curry, uh, fried, fried rice, not... Um, any, just anything. I don't know chips. Yeah. So if you can't be you can like me, this new podcast, I've noticed he's gone mental and started doing all these things since I came out. About me going on a, on a podcast with a billion views, the jealousy's hitting. So I can see, I don't, freedom's seen it, as other people have seen it. Barry Swales, he's another one, he's, he's seen it, he's not fucking that. And every time we get something like good, he starts constantly trolling us, trying to put us down, but it's not working because people know. But to do that to, to my wife, like I said to you, anywhere you want to meet me, anywhere you want to meet me, you can bring as many people as you want, I'll come on my own and let's get it put to bed. But you're a fucking coward, you're a pure coward. So you run to the place when it suits you, and then when somebody else goes to the place, you call them the grass. No, you can't have both ways. You can't make a statement against someone, and then somebody else counteracts you. You can't, you can't call them the grass because you're the one who made the best statement. The other one making statements against people. The other one phoned the police on people. And now I'm going to ask the police when I go up for my case. I'm going to say, I want to know how many times, how many people he's phoned in the last 10 years, and how many of all these people have been charged. Or any of them being arrested in jail, and I'll guarantee you, not one person's been in jail, and not one person's been done because every time he does it, it's made of lies, compulsive lies, or it's something like, Oh, he, he's calling me. I said, what do you mean? So I went in there, went, Well, he said, he, he books the shit. I went, Yeah, he asked it. He said, Yeah, well, that's your opinion. I said, Exactly, that's what I'm saying. He doesn't know the difference between an opinion when we're not really supposed to come up saying, I'm going to shoot you, and between the eyes, that's, that's the murder. How come nothing happens to them? But I do a thing and say these books are shit. And I get the police at my door and I get, I get I have to go down the police station and hand myself in because I said his books are shit and, he, and he's, he's a liar. He can't type. He said, I can't. I'm an author. I said, he's not an author, officer. He's not an author because his wife types the books. He can't type because I asked him to do me a letter from my brother and he couldn't do it. He's a compulsive liar. Then he's putting videos and saying, Brian was the greatest fighter ever. And now he's saying, I put kids in freezers. He's on the fucking bend. And the people that they pull all them have turned the back on him everywhere, Newcastle. And that's why he's had to go right up down the other end of the country. And when we went to London either, that'll be another one stopped and being told last week by people from London. They said he's not fucking coming down here and being clever. And you ain't fucking making money off us lot. Uh, I'm going down there next month myself. Yeah, but to go on like that to women, I mean, even if it was my worst enemy, I fucking hate to that, like, like fucking. I don't, I don't even hear these. I just can't stand the way that what they're doing. I don't hate them either. Somebody said the other day, he said he's, he's put, now he thinks he's Jesus Christ. He's like that. Looking at God on the cross as if he's Jesus now. He's on the fucking touch. The other week he was, in, he was I prayed to the devil, Satan. The my God, I was saying the Lord Jesus Christ will save you. And we love you. And God loves you. So I put loads of little things on to help people. And then he's put on, my God is Satan. I, but I worship Satan. And then it was I worship the devil. And then he's then all that shit start coming about Satan worshippers around the fucking twist. Totally on the twist. 
And this is a woman who went for the same room. She went for them. She went for the Sydney Vice Bureau. She was used to computers to find people's addresses, to phone them and grasp them up for the door. Making statements about people, getting people done on the door. Fucking unbelievable. She's only been at Emma. Emma's been in, done it all, so nothing against all lies. I've said that this is about the fifth time now. We've had about 20 phone calls in the last four years, and it's all from the same person. So we know, Jen. Going gold, global, I hope you're okay. What's that hot beverage mean on there? What that mean, my next click? Do you mean there? Click, I don't know if you're there. Fucking hell. So I'm trying to get myself back fit. I got up to that with the day, and a little post for everyone to see how lucky it's all and everything. I want to help people in the community. It's coming on going, ah, this idiot said leg biceps. Well, there's some, there's a thing called leg biceps. Your leg bicep, that's how thick you are, tin foil. You're a fucking clown, a big fat clown sat there talking shite. You've got your biceps here, and you've got your leg biceps. They're the exact same thing. They're, they're a bicep means it's a two headed muscle, a tricep means a three headed muscle. And a quadricep means four headed muscle. It's a bicep, so it's two headed muscle. In the back of your leg, your hamstrings. So people call them leg bicep curls. This idiot said they did leg biceps because he thinks there's no such thing as a leg bicep. Because we know it's you because you're fucking thick. You've never trained in your life. You told everyone in the book I was making that much money off me, but I was making that much money in boxing. My career was going brilliant. You never fucking need that fight in the ring. He had three sparring sessions. You got beat three times. You got kicked out of the gyms. He stole money out of the gym. He stole money out of the fucking. Um, they went. They went. They went. Too, which Teddy went with him. It was a boxing day one for them. Um, I can't remember which gym it was now. I think it was Snowden Road. I think it was Phil Thomas School of Boxing. I think it was that one. And when they went, when they went, when they did the, did the raffle, tin foil. There was a bottle of brandy. Just I'm not not exactly sure what she was with. Bottle of brandy, say bottle of whiskey and a bottle of um, vodka. But they put their tickets up, so he stood on stage and he's got the, the ball at the minute, like a fish ball, whatever. I wasn't there, Terry was telling me. But he's on there, he went, number 313. I think that's me. Then he won the bottle of brandy, put it down. Next one, next next raffle, bottle of vodka. Ticket 426. I'm just making these up as we win the numbers. Oh, that's me, that. 200 tickets went out and he had they got the 200 tickets. He won the three bottles of spirits. Anyway, now we tell you what the fuck's going on. He's won. How can you win 200? How many can you win? How many? Oh, thousands of fucking thousands of thousands. You probably, probably got a better chance of winning the lottery. 200 tickets went out and he had all three of the, the tickets for the three bottles. Everyone just knew. And then when they went behind the bar, the bar was shut. And behind the bar, there was the, the, the money you taken. And I can't remember if it was £300, I think it was, was stolen behind the bar. And only him went round with his kit bag on. Went on belly. I'll get Terry on to tell you the story. He went round with the kit bag, come back through again. He came back and, and the money was gone. So Terry's son was that embarrassed. He went and gave six hundred pounds to the boxing club for the charity for kids that were going to keep the boxing club going. A fucking low life he is. He's known a known thief. He's known for thieving. Yeah, so we went about and we sold the books for them. Got him 500 pounds and he still got his house repossessed. If somebody said to me what he does, Brian, he does it all the time. His nephew said he, he, he causes trouble. It was Dennis Powell, who was a boxing coach, like Mighty Joseph Turner. He said he borrowed my phone once. He got my phone off me. He said the next day, he said, uh, Mighty, 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 Mighty Joseph Turner would tell me, he said, he said, the Dennis, um, he called Dennis Powell's. Was a boxing coach, he's got some great lads, top big lads, about six four, stretch out in the corner. Couldn't really a boxer from his own way. So he's got his phone. So then, what he did the same thing he did with them, he got a demo's phone and sent all the messages on the phone number to Shelly. She's got a clone phone, and I knew not about all this shit. So next minute, because Dennis threw him out of the gym and chased him out of the gym, he said, Oh, you know, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't I'm a better boxer. Than then I said, I've got world champion fucking boxers fighting for, for, for world titles. Cranked, so threw him out of the gym. Then he went, I'm over to the boxing gym in Stokesley. A load of fucking shite again. Absolute shit again. We're all made of crap. All these deluded in the head. So what happened then is, Dennis was, Dennis's, um, Dennis's friends, numbers, he was using their numbers, say, Tommy Smith, um, it's me, the, uh, no, sorry, I'm wrong. He was phoning off Dennis's phone, phoning these people's numbers, what he got. 
phone the wives, or texting them, that's what he was doing, sorry, he was texting them on the phone, that was it. Text him saying, it's me, uh, Dennis, I fancied you for years, say, Mary, you plan to go on the date, go and tell Tom. And then he was going, what the fuck are you doing? You only on the phone, but he didn't know it was, because he pinched, he, he had his own phone, but they, he, he was about 10, 10 ladies he phoned, or a tech, he'd be sitting laughing about the fat cunt. Trying to split them up like me and Emma, trying to split us up, always trying to split people up. So he was texting them, asking them for dates. So then Dennis went, so these Dennis' son went, Have you given your phone to anyone? Daddy went, Yeah, Jamie fucking tinfoil. Two days ago, you're right, son. So he went to the place and I went, You told your phone's been hacked. So he hacked the, he hacked the phone by stealing the phone by sending all the messages. What a fucking slink. And he did it, he did it to my phone. And he was pulling me up. He was getting um, decked at phone and threatening me. He was getting stay official talk with God, sorry, he was doing it with official talk with talk don't with him. He done it with deal. He's done it with everyone. And now we got it again with him. I try and drive around the bend. Go to go to fucking Inverness. It's right, it's fucking dead. Six, seven, eight, nine hours away. So how are we getting there? Leaving the dogs again. Probably couldn't look after the dogs, he's useless, he's fucking useless, he's got mental health problems. Are you couldn't look after the dog he's on? You can't even open the fucking door. So well, how are we getting up there? Nine hours there, nine hours back. That's if you get the right connections on the trains. Because my mate, um, Mike Vickers is from that way. And you wouldn't keep your fucking mouth shut, you crap map, yeah? And I know a lot of people from Inverness. And I know uh, Mike and them, he's got a lot of fucking friends. They're all there, local fighters from up there. You fucking little freak. You, I helped you with non stop. You're another, you're another weirdo. Country. Looking at women on the fucking thing, he's saying he's bull. Videoing women out, he's, he's video. Look, imagine looking out your window and seeing a woman in the garden and videoing her for an over an hour. Sunbathing her, some fucking weirdos, man. That's what you call pure perverted with things like that. Video and then broken into some girl's car, pinched the phone and got all the images of it and sent the images of the girl all over. That revenge porn, it's called. You go to fucking jail for five, six years for that. The young lad did it, he got the three years for it. They just sent him one. You don't do this, I'm gonna blackmail and revenge revenge porn and blackmail until he said, if you don't give us the input, you don't give us the, all the information off the phone book. Oh, sorry. And I said, I'm doing the Lee Duffy book. She went, You are. We've done three months left on this again. It's my life stories I'm giving you. You know nothing about this. We went, I've just talked to Brian Copper today, he's just give you 30, 40 um stories about Lee Duffy. I've never heard this. This is going to be the biggest book, book ever in Tisa. I want to call it a once upon a time in Teesside, I thought. Once upon a time in Glasgow, once upon a time in Midlands, once upon a time in Scotland. It's only for very four or five books called that. You copies off of the people. So anyway, I told Molly story, you know, I said, Mom, it's mom. She was away, she was at her mum's for the weekend. And he was talking to me. And em Emma had left for the week. That was the week, so it was eight days, she was gone for eight days. Um and she was getting these fucking stuff about these lads. And she thought I was going to go in there side and go and get a picture in the gym. They're a mental breakdown. She's like catatonic, but she just sat there looking at the wall and went, Emma, 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 slapped her in the face, Emma. And she couldn't even wait for up. She was gone. And anyway, it fucking took, took months to get her back to normal. And took her out the day at the beach. Oh, that's why Matt Joseph Turner got some news coming to pick her up every day. Shut up! He's coming every day. He was married to help her, help me. And going to the beach and going to the red car and going to salt bed and going to different places to keep us occupied. God bless him. But he talked to you poor Marty. Marty's no longer here, so he stole Marty's book. But Marty was pulled in hospital. He went and got the book and took it down to the fucking Rob Brenton's on Saturday morning. Marty's, the priest was there and said he's not going to make it, the priest said. And his son said, My dad's going to die today. So he went straight to fucking over there, changed the book, reprinted it, put his name on, tin file. Written by Martin Joseph Turner from Boys to Champs, and he written it himself. So when it went to court, he produced the book where he'd written it. It was in the vault, so they did give Marty the book back. But he stole the book, and he put his finger over Marty's name and had his name on it. And just built an narcissist on him. And the thing is, he can't even he can't even spell. But he, not, he, I, I don't think he can even be, uh, spell better than me. He's he's fucking got dyslexia, um, and he's pretending he's a typist. But when I said type, we couldn't type. But Paul Sykes, I think Paul Sykes was a typing for him from the grave because that's what he told everyone. He's on the fucking twist. We were going to put it to bed. 
I'm still going to put it back after an item, so I'm not going to keep going on about But I have to tell you today that off the old chest, I said, I'm going to take this terrible of the truth. Don't what bottle it, just let all the public know the truth. You wouldn't get that payout of the police, and the police wouldn't arrest them and go all that way. And, and I, I'm, 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 I'm fucking, I'm just afraid to be fucking like, you know, I don't lie. I know these are Romans, I know they've been, been done multiple times, but they've been clever. What they do is, this is any you gals out there, you kids are out there, don't go in houses with men on their own, fighting with their friends, and they start giving you drinks. What they do, they'll bid you on the drink, and they put you a drink, they carry corks, you might have three or four. And then they'll say, you lose a line of coke, so they get you to put the line of coke out. Then they bid you, you take the line of coke, they let you, they'll give you the gear, and then they'll say, those are the, 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 the shield, shield seals to the, before the phone's going to go, those are line of coke. And then when the coke phone comes on, the ten phone on, then start videoing you, and saying, oh, I'm putting your line, do you want one? So then you're the one making the coke, and you're the one intended to supply the drugs, so you'll get done for it. So I know one from Red Car, who did this six to my cousin, I chased him out of the town for great reason. Another one went up in London. So what he was doing, he was getting people in and he was giving them drugs. And then he was getting them to give them drugs and he owned the pub in uh, Red Car. And he did it to six different girls. He got off of it all the time. And one went to court and said, What well, you drink that day? Oh, I had one or two drinks. So on, the, on the phone, he had a drink and six different shots at different times. And what he would do is, they will have a clock or something on the wall so you can see the clock, video you where the clock has taken the drink, another drink, another drink. So he's got time. And they put it on the phone when, when, you, when you're taking it. So then they go to court. So she had six, she was six dumb Bacardi's. And she was giving me coke. And if you look, you can see her offering me the drugs. So when it goes to court, it gets kicked out. It's kicked out of court because it's, it's um, you're impaired because the drugs make you impaired your mind. And obviously, alcohol makes you impaired. So the barristers, the, the best thing you do when you're drinking that day, and you say, yeah, you had six, six shots. You're not going to win the claim for rape. You never win it. Because you were impaired, they say, "Oh well, you could have given permission." You went in with like six shots to a woman at the lot. Well, to a normal women, young, especially young lasses, 40, 15 year old kids. So they apply them with drugs and drinks, but they make sure they video them taking it themselves. And then when they go to court, they come out with all the stuff saying, "Oh, she gave me the coke, and I can prove that." And, um, and that's how he gets kicked out. It's, uh, something like two percent of people who go to court win. Out of 100, that's fucking disgusting. And if you're ever in a, in a pub and you're on your if you're out there on your own, and you always sit with your friend. If you've got drinks, keep your drinks in your hands. And if you're gonna when you're in a pub, don't leave your drink at the table. If you do, drink it first and then go to the pub to the toilet. Have a way whatever you're doing, and then come out of the toilet and get another drink. Or if you've still got half a half a pint or whatever, you've got half a glass, whatever. Go to the toilet with your friend, have a wee in the toilet with your friend. That's a good thing that women do, but men can't look and do it. So can call names on it. Go to the toilet and keep your drink in your hand. So, because they've got a thing in called written up, you can put it in your drink. Then you're dead happy. It's like ecstasy, you know, where you start dancing and being happy. And you just go and do what you're happy. You just get a brain fog. So then somebody's taking your own. They do it down tell for this. They was telling me, they, they shall talk, talk that um, the spike over there, the written up thing it's called. And it makes you like you're in like in a dream. It's like so when they're raping you, you don't really know what's happened. But later on, it starts coming back to you a little bits of stuff. That's what happened with these the ones. We've got Emma. They've done this to other girl. This and she played played the rape thing, but she couldn't remember probably because obviously she'd been drugged. Took those two not they took his thirteen or fourteen year old. They did it to, to, to he did it to two young thirty or fourteen year olds. And you think him was king of the kids up there where he lived. And that's come back because he heard about Emma on the train saying I was in fear because of uh, got sexually abused before, sexually assaulted. So she won the biggest, she won a massive claim, but they, they awarded her that. She didn't, put, she didn't put in for money. She was most worried about the kids. I'm not about me. The kids are worried about on the phone with the box. They had a phone. He was showing her images of children making her watch the phone. Fucking sick bastards. Even you okay, mate? One of those crazy video calling. Thank you. Uh, freedom. Oh, hack OG, Helen Jealous. 
uh, one that could, yeah, it's terrible, it's, especially women at six years old, they've got it for the rest of the fucking life, and someone to keep calling on about raping it, I, I'm not joking, I'm not a liar, we must have about, he must have, he must have said he was going to rape her about two or three thousand times, and he must have said he's getting something to do with it two thousand times, he's obsessed, I'm going to bum your dog, I'm going to bum your fucking dog, he's round the fucking twist, it's what he meant, it the dreams he is, and he comes up me up and he starts the tears and the crying and he's a fucking con man. And when they found me all them in, all that shite that they made the videos up with his, his stepdaughters and his daughters. He's the best father-in-law in the world, that's funny. But he threw it out Christmas Day. Threw it out the fucking house Christmas Day because they were sniffing shit off the table in front of the uh, Jameson the Sun. Where many is? All right, what you said to when we got a call? Let's see how clever you are when you go to court. Let's see how clever you are when you get a fucking uh, drug test for the court. Because you're impaired because you've got drugs in your system. I'm allowed to give you a drug test if you don't take it. There's no court case, but I don't think it's going to be a court case. I don't ever think I'm going to get charged. Even if I did, it's a minuscule little thing. It's nothing where, nothing what you've done, nothing to the extent of sending people to the house, to burn the house down, firebombing it, and telling us when you're going to do it. We've got all the proof of all these witnesses now. And we did him in jail. Fuck, and now they get fucking tortured, wouldn't they? They'd fucking destroy him, the big lads. They'd absolutely destroy him. And the same as I used Paul when he goes to jail. He's going to jail, and like, there's no doubt in my mind he's going to go to jail. And for what he's done, he wants fucking, I think he'll get about five, six years after I think he'll get. He's got to jail because it sets to kill. Not once or twice, put people's names out, with the full name on, put their address out, tell them where she lives in certain areas. Tell them he's going to send other people to the house. Tell them he's going to get a light to come and smash a skull in with a paving stone and kill her. Tell them he's going to shoot her in the eyes about 20 times. Tell them he's going to get a nose cut off with a fucking stand knife. That's fucking vile to talk to anyone, no matter woman. How the fuck are these people walking the streets? I, I, you know, if I was in that, I'd be on home house. I'd be, I'd be remanded the best day. But these can do what they want because they're all snitches. I just can't believe what's going on. Anyone else talking on here? Because I don't is it frozen the page or anyone say out on here? Speed. That is frozen, isn't it? Fucking hell, what are we coming on? Freedom, are you there? I don't fuck we're talking. Cheapest except the yeah, good evening, Brian and Emma. Amazing. I'm both chat tonight. Can't see what that says there, mate. It's not going up and out. The, the, the video seems to have frozen. What the fuck's going on with this? Right, I'm going to have to end it, guys, so I can't see. It doesn't seem to be moving. No, nothing happening on the bottom of the video. It's frozen. No, no, for fuck's sake, the video's gone, man. Hey guys, I'm going to leave it there because I think it's frozen.